Hello, good evening everyone. I hope everyone is having a lovely evening. I am gonna sound really weird for the whole stream because I have to be really, really quiet to make sure that I don't upset our neighbors and I also don't wake up shiny. So welcome on in to the latest stream that I have ever done. <laughs> Hi Bateman, how goes it? Long time no see, long time no chat. I hope you're doing well. And Diane, oh my god, it's gonna be really weird to see who's actually up this late. Oh my god. Welcome on in, I hope you're doing well. An unpredictable party all night. It's gonna be a very- oh god, I need to gift a sub to goddamn thingy. Two seconds. Two th I should have done it during, uh, September, shouldn't I? My bad. Ignore this. Don't worry, it's definitely not me. It's definitely not me. <laughs> I'm not having Nightbot being a funky a funky bean on the first day of the raid train. That's absolutely not allowed. Uh, there we go. Take that for now. I'll sort that out later, so because I prefer to get the longer ones. But that's a good start. <laughs> Hi, unpredictable. Welcome on in. Oh, oh, Jesus Christ, that's loud. Who did that? Crazy. I've never seen that before. Oh my God. Wait, Strange Bay, why are you awake? <laughs> Is this just when the Bait family is awake? They're all awake this late at night? There we go, that's better. That's a healthy amount of snom dance. Welcome on in, I hope everyone is doing well. Let me just switch screens. Hello! Welcome, welcome. Does it look dark in here? I think that it does. Did also my chat just ping? I feel like my chat just got pinged, I'm sorry. <laughs> welcome on in, I am going to be doing this all, all, all the whole time, like ASMR vibes. Uh, I'm trying not to actually whisper at you because I know that's quite upsetting for a lot of people, but I have my mic very close to me. Uh, it should still cut out mouth noises for the most part, I apologise if it doesn't. I just really don't want to wake anyone up. We literally had the police round our house earlier as well because of like noises in the area. So the worst thing would be for me to start screaming at like 1am and then the police think it's me. <laughs> Making the noises, it's not me. I'm very good. I go to bed at like 10 p.m. <laughs> it's definitely not me at like 1 a.m. screaming, but I just happen to be awake the day after. <laughs> so we're gonna be real quiet, we're gonna be real careful, and we're not gonna have the police called on us. That's the goals today. And also to talk a little bit about Booptober and all the streamers that are taking part, because today we're gonna be going over the calendar where you could all Although the ads are unpredictable, this does actually go really well into me talking about my next stream. Uh, because our next stream is we're going to be recording the first 28 lines of the next song, uh, which is Fish Whisper Party. We like, we like to party. We like to party. We like to party. We like to party. We like, we like to party. I'm gonna let it be loud on you today. We like, we like to party. We like to party. Let's make a passage count. Everybody's jumping. New York to San Francisco. A new interstate free disco. The wheels are still on time. It's like it's a party. It's a party. It's a party. Come on and move your body. Pop, 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 pop. Yeah, it's gonna be kind of weird vibes this evening because honestly I'm gonna be keeping my voice down so much and I'm normally a very loud streamer and lots of yelling, lots of screaming and stuff like that so it is quite out of character for me but I really wanted to just talk a little bit about some of the streamers that are taking part, talking about the streams they're gonna be doing, going over the calendar because when it comes to time zones there's probably a lot of streamers that you wouldn't usually catch me because you're not usually online at that time or maybe you're asleep or something like that so it'd just be nice to talk a little bit about the people that are planning to take part the people that are scheduled into the raid train people that and what they've got as their plans for their streams so that if something does sound interesting you can go check it out especially if it's in your time zone because even for me uh this event so far has meant that i have met people that i would not normally meet who are in my time zone who normally yeah sure i should be able to see them but i just don't because i haven't been recommended them or because they're on the same time as another streamer that i already watch and so it's like i haven't gone out of my way to look for them so yeah listen that's what we're gonna be doing today we're going to be going over all of that and we have two hours to do it so i've given myself plenty of time because uh, originally i was just going to do it all in one hour but then i was like ah, i don't know if i can get through everyone in one hour because that's a lot of streams to go through and i don't want to like have to rush through the people at the end because we're getting towards the time when we raid because technically this is the first stream in the raid train although i think it's going to be close because i i have a sneaking suspicion that other uh, people will start going live soon but technically it is the first one but like listen you won't go live right now you go live right now you're all good uh, and the other thing is, if you're not taking part in the raid train, but you are still a streamer, for instance, we have Strange Bait who's just joined us. Strange Bait is a streamer who is streaming for Boobtober, but they're not specifically streaming in the raid train. If you want to raid into the raid train, you'd be more than welcome to. If you want to support the event, you can. There's no pressure to, though, because obviously it's like if you have another target, especially another target who's also doing Boobtober, but not doing the raid train event, I could also see them being a good one. Uh, and we can't schedule.
schedule anyone raids from the train because it is obviously a very scheduled event. Fingers crossed though, it goes really well this year and we have a really good time because then we can maybe bring it back in the next year. I just see Bateman starting Dead by Daylight. I'm gonna call you out on this Bateman at 11 o'clock. Oh my God. <laughs> When do you sleep? Do you sleep? Do the Bateman family... Do they... The strange bait... Bateman returns just no sleeping? I'm assuming they're playing it with Dem. I think it might be the Dem influence. I'm gonna guess. Is Dem being an influence? <laughs> Ah oh dear. But yeah, we're going to be doing all of that. I'm very excited about it. I've got the calendar. Let me just get it up on that screen. We might get a bit lighter in here because it obviously is completely pitch black outside. So lighting is a bit weird right now. Um, but I want to talk about what we're doing on our streams because and Unpredictable did kind of breach that very nicely for us, which is the first stream which I'm doing, which isn't this stream. I'm starting at 8 a.m. my time, which is about an hour earlier than I normally start, uh, just because filling gaps and stuff like that. And we're going to be recording the first 28 lines of Fish Whispers, or as close as we can get in that time. If it, if it goes into the next stream a little bit, it's not a problem. But we're going to be recording as many as we can, hopefully all 28. I have been doing some like little practice -y bits and stuff like that. We'll be doing, when it comes to Fish Whispers, rather than doing the full song, we'll be doing the first, uh, the intro, the first verse, and the chorus. It is a bit repetitive, and also it's a lot more effort to do the whole song when we only ever play the first bit anyway so i figured we'll just work on the first bit and give that all of our effort so yes we'll be doing that and because of all of the very generous donations considering the fact that i still don't have my rewards active right now they are not being activated until the first proper stream which is later today we've already raised nearly 300 dollars without opening it without linking to it it's kind of mad so yeah big thank you to everyone who has donated and also everyone who's donated to the main campaign as well i don't know if you guys have seen but the tiltify main campaign is over two, three quarters of the way there at this point we're getting very very close and considering that the raid train is just now starting it's very impressive that everyone has managed to raise this much already you don't sleep uh, yeah i guess i kind of tracked <laughs> Like, again, I mentioned this earlier, I'd normally be asleep by now. Like, I go to bed at like half ten-ish latest. Like, I might go to bed at like ten, but then go to sleep at like half ten. And then I wake up at like six in the morning. <laughs> And that's, that's, but obviously I'm having to change things around a little bit for this week. Um, so we're going to be, I'm taking plenty of naps. And again, I did put this in a post in the Discord, but for those who aren't aware, I have talked to my doctors. We have like a whole plan. Everything is prepared. I have another thing going midway through the week. So I'm doing it safely uh, because I know we've talked about before how I can't do subathons because health wise, it just doesn't make sense. Well, in this particular case, it's not a subathon. Obviously we're doing this for charity, but also I am streaming this much with my doctor's supervision. So do not worry. We have been very, very careful, very safe about the whole thing because I didn't want anyone from the community to get worried. <coughs> Excuse me. No sleeping buddies. Yeah, you Bateman and Strange Bait, you all, you're all the non-sleep team. Joe, welcome on in. I hope you're doing well. Welcome to the midnight stream. I hope we're doing good. I am not normally up at this time, uh, but you probably are. <laughs> You're in my time zone, what the heck? I know, mad. I've never streamed this late before. The latest that I've ever streamed is the streams I did with Shifty or if the um, the the first time I did a Final Fantasy IX speedrun, which both ended around half 10 at the latest. Half 10, that's the latest I've ever streamed and it's 11 now, so it's the latest I've ever streamed. <laughs> <laughs> very exciting but i also have to be really really quiet because we literally had the police at our door today looking for someone making weird noises at night the day before i did my midnight stream and i was like oh no <laughs> because what if i get reported now because i don't have an excuse i am making weird noises at night so we're being really quiet because i don't want to upset my neighbors and i also don't want to be i don't want them to accuse whatever happened last night of me it wasn't me <laughs> i was asleep <laughs> oh dear there's more of us, there's so many of you, and thank you for the egg smash. It's 6pm, oh, nice. That's actually a good time. They found shiny grab it. good morning, and shifty, good morning. Oh god, no, it's not good morning yet. Good evening, soon it'll be good morning though. I'm prepared to say good morning to everyone. Speak of the devil and he shall appear, what are you doing awake? Still evening, for now, we'll get there. ASMR stream, effectively, because I really don't want to get found out by the police for making weird noises at night. <laughs> And I also don't want to upset my neighbours, and I also don't want to wake Shiny up because we go to bed very early in this household, uh, because we get up early, so we are early to bed, early to rise normally. Uh, I would normally have been asleep like an hour ago, maybe-ish. 
<laughs> so this is very late for me. Oh dear. I don't sleep until midnight? God, I don't know how you do that. I, I get really... Well, to be fair though, I've also had two naps today so far. Two. <laughs> to make sure that I could stay up tonight because I'm still sleeping. <laughs> Because I'm such- I am so like in my schedule of going to bed earlier than this. So like being up now, I'm like This is just mad people hours, what the heck? Uh, so yes, I'm the opposite. I'm a- I wake up at 5am wanting to eat meat kind of lady, you know? <laughs> fair, fair. You know, we're all different. Some of us are eating meat at midnight. I'm an eating meat at 5 in the morning kind of lady. Which is unfortunate because before even the McDonald's will serve us. <laughs> Ah, oh, this anxiety stops you going to bed early. See, I'm like that. I wake up and I immediately have to be active. So I'm the opposite. It doesn't stop me going to bed, but it does stop me going back to bed first thing. And also hunger. <laughs> also being really, really hungry all the goddamn time. <laughs> when does it end? When do I stop being hungry? How much do I have to eat to quell this unquenchable hunger? Um, thankfully, we are, we've been on two snack runs. <laughs> And I will be going on another- well, I won't be going on the run tomorrow, but um, Shiny is going to go get me more snacks tomorrow. So, uh, yes, we'll have plenty of snacks to get through Boobtober, because if I'm not sleeping, I get even hungrier. And, like, I'm already a hungry, hungry lady, and I know I don't look like it, but, like, it never ends. And so, <laughs> and so we're gonna have lots of snacking. We have a very planned meal schedule. I don't sleep, at least not doing normal people hours. It, I, I was wondering, because it's like, it's interesting to see that, I'm kind of surprised to see, well, I guess Shifty though, because you often stream a bit later sometimes. So I guess I'm not super surprised with Shifty. And I knew Bait and Strange do stay up kind of late playing Dead by Daylight sometimes. Unpredictable, I know, is all over the place, but I also know they're streaming after me, so they're probably going to be prepping for it. And then Grovit, I'm a bit surprised about. I don't know, I kind of assumed Grovit was also an early to bed kind of person. I don't know why I got that vibe from you, clearly I'm not correct. <laughs> and Diana I didn't know about either. Oh, I said Chappy, good evening, I hope you're doing well. Welcome to the latest stream I've ever done, and probably will be doing for quite a while. At least until next week when I'm streaming at 5am. <laughs> Are you are you all ready to wake up at 5 a.m. to watch my stream with Dan? You will, right? Everyone everyone from this community is gonna get up at 5 a.m., right? <laughs> so they can they can watch my stream with Demos. <laughs> oh dear. Thing is though, weirdly, that's actually more on my schedule than this stream is. This stream is further away from my schedule than the waking up at 5 a.m. because I wake up at 5 a.m. anyway. I'll probably have to get up a little early just so that I can eat before stream, but like that's not that far out of my schedule. <laughs> <laughs> hench Jenny, I'm very hench. I'm very buff. Ah oh dear, I am sleeping. Scheduled hack. Oh, fair, fair. Okay, I, you always struck me as someone who'd go to bed earlier. Oh, <laughs> it's 6, 12 p.m. for me, Weston, but you work the night shift. Oh, so it's just morning basically for you then, I guess. Likely be awake anyway. Oh, bless you. 10 hour shift. Gosh, that's a long one. Good luck. I hope that it goes all right. Ah oh dear, you good, you good. I usually wake up at 5am, doesn't necessarily mean I'm sleep early, oh fair. I will, yeah, I'm kind of the same, even if I'm like meant to be like having a lion. Oh, god. Oh wait, I don't have my one on. Wait, let me switch back to it. Shifty! <gasps> Shifty, thank you for the blessing. Thank you so much for blessing our stream with the best number possible. Oh my god, let me get a screenshot of that. You are a gem. Thank you so, so much for donating. You fixed it, yeah, but it did need fixing. <laughs> I think people have been trying to do it, and then, but because they couldn't see it on my stream, no one was quite sure how much to donate. So I think people have been wobbling around trying to donate, but then not quite managed it. I forgot to shout myself out in the, God damn it, <laughs> I need to post my stream because it is the, technically the first Raid Train stream. Shoot, sh I'm professional. First stream of raid train let's go <laughs> very quietly <laughs> oh dear. thank you thank you also your mask for this oh, but <laughs> thank you so much I, yeah because that's a wait which one is that that's another giveaway right Hell yeah. I didn't need, I haven't talked about my own milestones at all because because I haven't had my own one open. So I do need to talk to everyone about that. Why no post? I'm sorry, Vile. I did it. I did it. I'm sorry. I like garlic. You're a vampire. Explains the hotness. Oh my god, the smoothness. How are you so smooth this late at night? Like, the later it gets, the slower my brain goes. So my flirting goes from honestly not even that good to yeah. <laughs> and that's about it. Down with the smoothness, my god. Ooh, ah, 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 ah. 
<laughs> Dude, ASMR done with the sickness. <laughs> like, I don't know how, like, how do people stream in the UK late at night without pissing everyone else off? I don't know. I guess I'm, I'm not maybe the best example because like, I'm quite a loud person, but still. There's a little garlic in my cooking, just putting it out there. Fair. Nice. I mean, I like garlic as well. I mean, you're not coming for me, but <laughs> I would, I would come over and steal food from you. Oh dear, have I missed something? Oh, goodbye! <laughs> oh dear, they turn up the mic and speak softly. Yes, yeah, I prefer just screaming 24-7. Like, I just find it easier to yell, but like, it's okay, we'll go quiet. Alright, do you want me to talk about my campaign really quickly and then we'll go talking about everybody else's because I do need to talk about a few things. So, my campaign, I have the goal of $500. Uh, we do have a few milestones which I actually have to bring up because it has been so long since I looked at my own stuff. And we will have some rewards running throughout the week. I just launched Discord. <laughs> Instead of going to my campaign, I just went to my Discord. <laughs> Thanks. Thanks, me. You're really good at this. Alright, so we've already hit three of our milestones, which are all giveaways. So the first milestone where we were doing the ball ball trinket, do you mind if I just quickly get them? You're gonna have to excuse me because I am in my pajamas because I'm ready to fling myself into bed post-stream. Like, once stream is over, I am, I am in bed. That's all where I am. The, the embroidery hoops I have put away just to keep them safe, but I have the ball balls out so I can at least show you those because we have hit... Uh, oh no, not these ones. Oh no, these are the team ones. Although we have hit one of these as well. Where's the not team ones? Did I put them away somewhere safe as well? I'm Oh no, one of them's there. There we go. I got two of the ball balls. Okay, okay. <laughs> the organization is top tier. Snoozy time after swimming. Yeah, I'm going to fling myself into bed post <laughs> I'm out. I thought it was nice to feed you after feed midnight. I probably won't feed after midnight to be fair because I don't like feeding and I should eating. I don't like eating <laughs> and then lying down. I find it makes me uncomfortable. Uh, all right, so we have already hit <laughs> two, of the, two of the giveaways. We've hit both the bauble ones. So we'll be giving away our pumpkin and our candy corn baubles. These will be given away on the last day of the raid train. I'm doing all of my giveaways on the last day of the raid train, except for team giveaways. That'll be on the 31st of October because that's the last day of uh, Booptober. But yes, these two little beans, here they are, will be given away next Wednesday next wednesday and then we also have one embroidery hoop we have the other one to hit but the big goal uh, the big one is if we hit 500 dollars because if we hit 500 dollars i'll be releasing all of the song covers we've done on youtube <laughs> which means you can do whatever you like with them they'll be fully available to the public and you can listen to them anytime <laughs> So, it, that's our main goal, if we hit $500, I'll be doing that. Uh, I probably will make some cursed art and just have it as a static image, as if it's like a weird album cover. So don't expect like a full music video, because... No. <laughs> no. I'm not doing that, but I will release them on YouTube so that people can take them. I'll also have a download link underneath the YouTube if people do want to download it and use them for whatever they want. So basically, that's the main goal if we hit $500, but we do have some really fun rewards which aren't active right now, but will be active later on. So they'll be active from next stream onwards. Uh, so we have one which is active only during a dressmaking stream where we're going to be turning this dress into a pink monstrosity very high fashion cutting big holes in it adding lots of beads changing around because as cool as this dress is it's kind of boring and i want to make a really fancy halloween outfit that is pink so we're going to be doing that and you guys can contribute to it because for every dollar that you donate i will add an extra bead and we have, I'm going to try and show you this without tipping it all into my tea, the bead bowl where we have eyeballs and fish and flowers and lots and lots of ribbons and bows, which is perfect for breast cancer because it's all ribbons and bows. So yes, we'll do a random scoop out of the pink bowl. And then so if you donate one dollar, you get one bead. If you donate ten dollars, you get ten beads. That reward will only be claimable when the reward is active because we'll only be doing that one during the dress stream. So like, for instance, doing games collabs, I won't have this reward active because it won't make any sense. So if you want to claim that reward make sure you're holding your donations back till those streams the other one will be active during most streams but i will only be recording them on streams where i'm not in collabs and that will be starting from next stream as well which is for every five dollars donated or more we will record one line of fish whispers so we're already recording 
30 lines now um, before like anyone even does any of those because we had a little discussion and it's like because the reward isn't active I don't think doing it for every five dollars is quite right because I do think some people would make you know higher donations than five dollars and that would only count as one line but because the reward hasn't been active and people haven't been aware of that uh, I've decided that for every ten dollars donated right now we'll do uh, a line of fish whispers which means we're doing 30 off the bat so our first stream which starts at eight o'clock today which is in about eight hours from now honestly just in eight and a half hours from now is our first stream and during that stream we'll be recording the first 30 lines or as many as we can for uh for that song which is fish whispers so we're gonna be doing an acapella color cover very similar to the uh we liked party and blue if you've heard those before It'd be very very similar to that so very exciting very exciting and i think it's gonna be really really fun we're calling it feeding now we're not calling it feeding <laughs> eating epi good morning ah uh, good evening <laughs> Sorry, i don't know where i am good evening i hope you're doing well welcome on in it's very very late so i'm being very quiet so not to annoy anyone and i why are you awake isosia and jeans welcome on in and pupsy purple i'm like fair enough and the purple time zone makes sense but why are you awake isosia <laughs> happy time zones happy time zones i hope you're doing well welcome on in i hope i hope everyone's having a good day i'm just going over a little bit of what i'll be doing doing the train and the rewards we've had although we have kind of just gone over that now but um i'm now going to be going over if we switch to this screen and make sure that everything is up we're going to be going over the calendar although i have gone into the future so we're going to be starting here Excuse me, I wanted to be here for the opening. Oh, bless you, I Cecilia. We will get to you because I see you down here on the second day. But what we're going to do is we're going to go through all the streamers taking part. I'm going to be shouting everyone out as we go through them, which is why I wanted to give myself the extra hour because we just need that little bit of extra time. Uh, so we're going to be going through everyone. Obviously, I am up here as the first one, but mine is only a very short stream because we'll be raiding into Elizabeth after this. Uh, who I will actually, we're going to go into this straight away because I would like some, if anyone wants to go follow them ahead of time, uh, yeah we want we want people to go so i'm gonna keep that open and then we're going to uh, make sure that i i type their name in correctly followers come to watch Jenny. why are you here <laughs> thank you everyone for oh bless you shifty thank you so much i don't want you to feel like if you need to pop off to bed at any time shifty completely understand but thank you so much i do appreciate it uh the, the holding the flame to open it yeah i'm just running around like very very tiredly <laughs> going towards lighting the flame i'm not like you are allowed to leave <laughs> if you need to leave at any time please do because i know it's going to get very late for you as well and i'm assuming you might have work <laughs> maybe <laughs> oh dear uh welcome on in though everyone which i know they're not chained all right what i wanted to say before that before that shout out disappears if you haven't followed elizabeth's blue they're going to be our raid target today they did their first stream ever like yesterday or the day before yesterday they are a very very new streamer so if you want to go follow them they are on their way to trying to hit affiliate right now and they are doing some of like the most unique streams in the entirety of booptober and let me gush about them just a little bit let me just gush about this streamer just a little bit they're they're doing architecture streams they are building houses as in doing their streams like actually actually getting into autodesk and actually going in and building walls and you can donate to influence like the, how the house looks so to add furniture or to add a theming and stuff like that so as someone is designing a legitimate house you can donate to then change how the house is looking because that's what they do that's what they do they do architecture so they're very good at it and so they're bringing that skill and that knowledge to a charity event to make a really silly house for charity and it's literally they're like today i think is their second ever stream ever so like if you've not gone and followed them before go and follow them now they are doing some of the most unique streams in the entirety of booptober they are a very new streamer and i'm sure any of the extra support would go a really long way and yeah like literally how cool is that and also to start streaming for a charity event is so sweet and so nice that they deserve all the love in the world so yes definitely i'm gonna actually even maybe if i can beat shifty i'm actually even gonna shout them out again because oh no <laughs> It's okay. <laughs> I should be banned from the commands. <laughs> Thank you, Shifty. <laughs> I should be banned. <laughs> yeah, oh my god. Thanks, Shifty. I appreciate it. I hecked that up royally. Almost ready for Sunday. Good. I hope you have a really good time, Epi. Hell yeah. Tim Papi Bobbin. You should absolutely send Papa Bobbin. Shifty's fixing my mistakes again. Thank you, Shifty. 
yes so they're gonna be doing some really really i am very professional they're gonna be doing some really really cool streams and i definitely go check them out with some real catch the pigeon energy <laughs> yeah. they're, they're, and again they're, they're aiming for affiliate right now i think when i last looked they had about 25 followers so any extra followers would go a really long way i know a lot of you guys aren't always awake this late i know that i'm not but i think that the streams are so interesting that it, it would be fun to actually just go back and watch the vods a lot of the time and if you can donate that's a really interesting reward to be giving so yeah, definitely, definitely go send them some love. I'm going to shout them out in the main Booptober channel as well, just to try and get some more people over there, because we want anyone who's aiming for affiliate to hopefully get it, because it is harder than a lot of people give it credit for, and we want to go support them where we can. So yes, if you want to go support them, uh, very, very sweet bean. I'm really looking forward to seeing their stream, and we are raiding into them after this stream. So they are our raid target for the day. So that's, I think that's a pretty good explanation of our first person who is, you know, doing something really, really cool. <coughs> followed hell yeah thank you if we can't donate just getting someone supported is yeah exactly if you can't donate just going and supporting them i think when you're a new streamer as well it can be quite anxious when you don't have people to necessarily chat to so like just going into the community and being like hi hope stream's going well can you tell me about this room it gives them something to talk about i don't know how chatty they are naturally maybe they're a real talker and they won't need any prompts but just hanging out and being like a response there can make a really big difference to a new streamer and how fun their first experience is so yes there is that. Freaky! Oh my god, now I'm up at a weird time. Normally when I see you, you're up at a weird time. But now it's me. <laughs> I'm up at a weird time. <laughs> yeah, my one is really, really colourful. Everyone's really bright and colourful here. Alright, should we go into our next streamer? Uh, so Unpredictable is actually doing a slightly different stream, and I'll tell you why in a minute, because uh, we have had some obvious develop- oh. We've had some real developments in the Tiltify, especially the team Tiltify, where if we look at this, you see this? You see how much we've raised? You see how close we are to our goal? So Unpredictable has very kindly potentially contributed as tribute. <laughs> So that, uh, so that uh, they are going to be making some things that we may give away at Stretch Girls. So they're going to be making some Halloween themed baubles. They have this really beautiful Halloween -y fabric that they're going to be embroidering and detailing and then turning into baubles and stuff like that. And so their first stream is going to be very craft orientated. But like, also potentially you could actually win what they're going to be making if we hit those stretch goals. Because once again, I would like to say that we are less than two weeks in. <laughs> I just, uh less than two weeks in and we are already at 7k so uh yes sleeves good morning or good afternoon or good evening actually for you it's you're this why are you awake <laughs> sleeves welcome on in what are you doing <laughs> get some good sleep <laughs> i hope you're doing well welcome on in it's unusual to see you on i know right i have never streamed this late this is i am normally asleep like an hour ago <laughs> So this is the latest I've ever streamed now, but it's for a very good cause and it's to celebrate all of the streamers that are taking part and we're just going through them one by one on the raid train. So their plans have just changed a little bit and partially that's your guys' fault actually for being so goddamn generous and donating so much to the charity event. <laughs> God damn it, now Unpredictable's had to change what they're doing, but obviously it's for a very good cause and they're very happy to do it. So yeah, if you want to see some crafts, you're about to go to sleep streamer. Oh bless you, get some good seeds when you do. A Kev, good morning. For you, I think it is morning. Welcome on in. What is this craziness? Nut, good morning. I hope you're doing well. Welcome on in. Welcome to the jealous ASMR. <laughs> Wait away, jelly god. I'm sorry. Get some good sleep, Isisia. How about typing without thumbs? <laughs> Do, I don't type with my thumbs. Do you type with your thumbs? Ah, oh dear. I'll call everyone out. God, calling everyone out. But yeah, so that's our th second streamer. I think a lot of you already know Unpredictable, but if you haven't and you're interested in some craft streams, definitely check Unpredictable out. They're also a member of the Boobtober stream staff, so they've been helping an awful lot behind the scenes with a huge amount of people. They deserve a lot of love. Uh, and this is, I think, more close to the time they regularly stream, so you should be able to catch them around that time quite often. Uh, just an hour ahead. Oh, wait. Oh, God. Yeah, okay, no, okay, sorry. I've completely misjudged that. For some reason, I thought it must be morning for you. <laughs> Why are you up so late? <laughs> Get some good sleep. Thank you for seeing popping by though. Kev's another person who is streaming for Boobtober. I don't think Kev is taking part in the raid train, but they have been doing lots of fundraising already. So if you want to go check out another raid train, uh, sorry, another Boobtober streamer, check out Kev. Why are we online? Runa, welcome on in. Good morning. Good morning. Welcome to the late night ASMR stream where I'm talking about all the streamers who are doing amazing things from the raid train. Now ahead is morning. Oh, it is morning. Good morning. <laughs> oh, 
Falcon, I wanted to see you. Falcon, is your name a D's Nuts joke or is it just very like Falcon D's Nuts? It just sounds like it's really close. And I meant to ask you the other day and I forgot by any chance or is it just very weird coincidence? <laughs> But also, good morning. I hope you're doing well. Welcome on into the very late night stream. Most of us live in our beds. Honestly, fair. I would live in my bed as well. Ah, oh, dear. I need to go to bed. This stream is an abomination. It is. It's so late. I need to get to work. Have a lovely day at work. Take care. Or night at work. I hope that it goes well. <laughs> it's the... Oh, no, it's not a Deez Nuts joke. The first time I saw your name, I was like, I wonder if they're gonna Deez Nuts me. But then you never did. And so I completely forgot to ask if it was meant to be, or if it was just like a weird coincidence that you had the falcon. Des. Nuts. <laughs> oh, dear. Have a great time. Thank you, Runa. Take care. Get some good sleep. Oh, dear. yeah, they're a late, they're a night shift person, apparently. So they'll be, they'll be sleeping. Streamer buying viewers? Me? Oh, no, I was going to say, I don't think I've bought any of you. I, I don't know why you're here, but I definitely isn't money. <laughs> Deez nuts. <laughs> Got him! <laughs> also free, good morning or good evening. I hope you're doing well. Welcome into a very late night stream where we're trying very hard not to annoy our neighbours. All right, that's unpredictable. The next person we're going to is a very late addition to the to the raid train who is doing some cozy streaming throughout the entire events so you'll see them popping up a few times because they're planning to do like a lot of cozy streams for just an hour here or an hour there which is honestly wonderful because it does plug some gaps in the raid train for us which is wonderful uh, but also it's you know it's nice it's like a nice break between maybe some more chaotic streams so we have aria soul song uh, if you haven't checked them out before very very late edition but like a very welcome one because they're bringing in that cozy gaming vibe into the middle of a lot of crafting streams which is really cool so yeah we, we got them and they're gonna be popping up three times in the event you'll see them popping up doing cozy games so keep an eye because you, if you miss them the first time maybe you can pop in the second or third time yes my knitting needles won't oh no did we sell our soul to bootoga well if you did you didn't sell it to me because i haven't made any profit off it <laughs> you're a human trafficker i don't think that i am i feel like i'd know about that Ah oh dear. So yeah, we have a, a very sweet bean gamer. They have a lot of energy, so if you need some energy at what time are they streaming? Six in the morning? <laughs> but maybe your time will be a more a more normal time. But if you're looking for some if you're in the UK, I guess, or EU way, if you're looking for some very early morning energy, Aria has a lot of energy. Uh if you're maybe over the US time, it'll just be like a nice cozy game stream. So yeah, we have them. And again, they'll pop up a couple times. I'm excited to see the rest of them. Mm-mm-mm. I unfortunately might have to miss a few of their streams just because of how early they are but um hopefully i'm hoping to maybe get the uh, tail end of today's one because i'll be up early today fingers crossed otherwise we have another addition to the raid train who is doing a few different streams so you'll see radu pop up a couple times but they are doing a few different ones their first one though should be starting in about half an hour so, and they do very long streams and they're going to be doing some crafting as well as some gaming let me just get them in the radu con dan tin there we go there we go. I think I've got them there. Yes, because they're also doing Dave the Diver. Yes, yes, Falcon, you definitely stream more during this time. <laughs> it's so late for me. <laughs> like, literally, Falcon, we were talking about this earlier. I'm having to be really, really careful because this morning we had the police come to our house because apparently someone was outside our house making really weird noises at, like, 2 a.m. or something. And now I'm awake at that time and I have to be really careful not to make any weird noises because the police are already on the lookout for someone in our area who's making weird noises at night and it's like I don't it's not me and it wasn't me last night but I don't want it to be me by accident <laughs> so being really careful ah oh dear good evening for me and good night for you I think it's night time for where you're based yeah it's like a yeah half 11 at night for me I'm normally a morning streamer so it's very very late for me I'm honestly surprised to see so many people here I wish I could have done more streams in my raid but my schedule no no and you're fine honestly we appreciate everyone and I completely get that like a lot of people have only been able to do the one stream and it's just because obviously streamers like Radu and Aria are able to do a few doesn't mean that your stream is any less valuable to us and you you know we still love having you as part of the train 
like even from a in a, a not a planning point of view it's nice to have good people as a part of the train because a lot of the time it means when we're raiding into or like scheduling a raid to go into you i know that they'll have a safe space with you if they're not someone who regularly raids you so having familiar faces in the raid train even if it's only once or twice here or there it made the planning a lot easier because i could be like oh this person's a bit of a newer streamer let me raid them into sleeves or let me raid them into so and so because i know that they'll have a safe space there and be like in a nice a ni I, can, I can guarantee them having a good time so yes it was it wasn't me it wasn't me officer it was not could have been a fox i think there was a group of people from the sounds of it we don't really have any details but i think it was a group maybe some youths <laughs> i say i feel like it could have been me i'm a youth i'm a, like five people in all of wales there are only five people i see good night good night everyone Ah, uh, I could do uh, one as I'm doing a course. It's great to see so many times. Yeah, it really is. It was really nice to see so many familiar faces pop in as well. Oh, but anyway, I know. I'll try not to make any weird noises in the forest. It couldn't be me, officer. It was my Twitch chat. <laughs> yeah, I mean, on the off plus side, if anyone tries to claim that it's me, I will have a VOD. I can be like, officer, it was not in fact me. I was live on Twitch raising money for charity, being a really good bean, actually. <laughs> it was not me. It was them. Makes No, Kev, no. No, no weird noises. Kind of the officer's coming to my door. Also, good evening, Gev. I hope you're doing well. But yeah, Radu's going to be doing a mixture of streams, but their first stream is crafting. And I know we have a lot of crafters in this community. And I know we have a lot of late night crafters who stay up past bedtime to do extra craft. And if you've... Number one, number one tampon, tampon in steak. steak. If you've not met Radri, maybe Radri would be a really good option for you because they are going to be someone who can keep you company during your late night craft streams. Uh, yes, so definitely, again, if you've never- oh wait, what the heck? Oh, I almost clicked- I have to be careful not to click the link, otherwise I'll go to their channel. <laughs> Which I'd be fine with, but also I need to stay on this screen. <laughs> How weird were the noises someone called the police? Apparently a few people called the police. I slept through it. <laughs> I don't hear anything. Oh dear. Can you tell me what you're doing exactly? I'm going through all the people who are going to be live in the raid train. I'm actually next on the list, so you get me next. We're going through one by one all the people that are going to be taking place in the uh, raid train, talking about some of the stuff they're doing and shouting them out in the chat so that if people want to go check out their streams, they can follow the streamers ahead of time and make sure that they get to those streams. Because we again, we've been through one, two, three, four, and every single stream is different. We have someone who is doing legitimate architecture. We have someone who is doing some wizard repairing robes. We have some chill gamings and then we also have some halloween baubles like we have a mix of people taking part oh thank you for shouting them out again i do appreciate shifty yeah if you haven't checked them out they're doing a few different things definitely worth it if you're a late night crafter I'll give them some ghost stickers i could i do have ghost stickers now there was someone making weird noises mentioning tampon instead <laughs> no that's just a british delicacy what are you talking about weird noise and novel and wonder i'd call the police if it's quiet yeah it's because we live rural there's not a lot of noises at night but we do though sometimes get people doing like really fast speeding on the road so i'm wondering if it could also be like a car going up and down making weird noises but it sounded like they thought it was a group of people ah uh, dear so these are part of an event they are this is the raid train event happening for boobtober so you can see how there's like so many like boxes overlapping these are all the streamers who are streaming for the raid train event and raising money for boobtober it is quite overwhelming but it's really it's overwhelming in a good way because there's so many of you <laughs> oh, boo -ba -boo -ba. There's boo -ba -boo -ba. were you watching ara ara again no boo -ba -boo -ba. i'm no ara ara i'm only boo -ba -boo -ba. Ah oh dear. Alright, should we move on to the next person, which is me? <laughs> don't shout me out, Shifty. You don't need to. <laughs> I'm already here. Um, but I am going to be doing the first 30 lines of Fish Whispers. So I'm doing that in 8 out. No! <laughs> no! Stop shouting me out! No! <laughs> I'm already here. You can skip this one. I'm not skipping it. <laughs> we just had somebody ask what I was doing, I have to say. Uh, but we're recording the first 30 lines of Fish Whispers. Kels! <laughs> Welcome on in to my ASMR midnight stream where I'm trying not to wake up my neighbours. How are you doing? And also massive congratulations again on hitting your streaming goals with Booptober. I hope I hope you're having a great time with your community. I know that you're making a small army of ghosts. Also, Booptober, thank you so much for the follow. This is a very unusual time for me to be streaming. I I've never streamed this late, so I apologise if it's not really in your time zone, but thank you anyway. Uh, congrats, yeah! They have raised now. Well, just to like shout, call you out a little bit on this, Kels. Kels's first goal for Booptober was $400. 400. How much, you, how much have you raised, Kels? <laughs> how, how much did your community raise in less than two weeks? Uh, definitely more than $400. <laughs> 
<laughs> Kells has raised over two thousand dollars. Over two thousand dollars for Boobtober. Four hundred dollars. <laughs> Your community was like, screw that. <laughs> Uh, the, try not to alert the police. Yeah, they're trying very hard not to alert the police. It's actually like a stealth stream right now. Also, Morikyu, good morning. I hope you're doing well. Welcome on in. I have seen you popping around the streams. Thank you so much for your very, very kind donations to the Boobtober streamers. And thank you for your donation on my stream as well, which I didn't see when you did it, I don't think. But I, I have seen it now. Thank you so much. It's very heckin' kind of you. Ah oh dear, extreme, yeah, like all of the extreme love. So much love. Everyone's doing such a good job. All right, we'll skip past me then because we have done a- Heck what you're doing streaming this early in the morning, Heck. XD. Heck what you doing being awake so early in the morning, XD. <laughs> Jason, thank you. 41 months? Oh my God. Jason, thank you so much for being around for 41 months. It's very hecking kind of you. Bless you. That's a very long time. Gosh, now I'm awake. I know, right? That was louder than I was expecting it to be. It's quite the opposite. I have yeah. been able to sit here. Oh, bless you. It's lovely to have you here. Also, welcome to the party. A very, very quiet ASMR party. Yeah. Yeah. It's too late for the horns. Oh, you're fine. Yeah, it's very good for but you can sit and you fight. Sleeves get some good seeds, because you're going to be busy. You have to talk about sleeves at some point. I think sleeves is actually... We like, we like this day, right? We hey, you are. We'll talk about you when you're asleep. Thank you, Francisco. 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 Thank you, a midnight party, a midnight party. Kiwi, welcome on in. We're just talking a little bit about the streamers that are taking part in the raid train. We're going through them each one by one. Trying to take any trouble? No, they would never. My chat, never. And Sleepy, you know who's sleepy right now? Me. <laughs> Good morning, I hope you're doing well. Welcome on in. All right, we need to get to the next person, which is Nick. Nick was a bit of trivia behind the scenes. For, for Nick here. Nick was actually one of the first people to put in their streams for Boobtober. Potentially, actually, the first. They were so quick. They were like, well, I know I'm going to be streaming these times. I know I want to support Boobtober, so I'm just going to get them all in immediately. And Nick Bricks has had their, I, I think they were the first, other than actual Boobtober themselves. Nick was so on it and is streaming once again. You'll see them popping up. They are doing Warhammer painting. I know we have quite a few figure enjoyers in here. So if you're looking to do what, some Warhammer painting and, and get in with figures and stuff like that, definitely check out Nick. They also do like a really chill stream over there. Like it's chill vibes and gaming or chill vibes and and crafting sometimes they do some music as well so if you haven't checked them out before this is your call to go check them out because they're a very hecking sweet bean and they are doing again they were so on it they were easily like i think it was sleeves nick and there was one other person i have forgotten who were just in immediately and it was like wow and like when you're hosting an event seeing people get in that quickly it gives you a real boost of like oh people are actually interested so like nick and a couple of others really did boost the event early on so if you haven't checked out nick before please do they're a very very sweet bean they've been lovely when it's to work with when it comes with boobtober and they also do like a big range of stuff i think they are predominantly doing warhammer painting for boobtober but outside of that you'll find music and gaming as well also comfy welcome on in another raid trade streamer we will get to you don't worry we haven't talked about you yet we're still on the first day <laughs> we're still on first day i'm gonna have to skip to the next person but yeah we are we are still on first day we're going through everyone one by one a heck is we been having <laughs> no no greatest compliment ever no nick nick has been wonderful they've been very good been keeping us up to date behind the scenes and making sure everything was right really really pleasure to work with definitely go check them out even on based on that alone all right i mean it in a good way i know i know bless you thank you all right we have next another member of boobtober staff somebody who might be in the chat right now we have bateman returns 
who is streaming a very, they've actually, I think if memory serves, you actually took time off work for this stream, right? Because this is your big stream during Boobtober and it's on the first day. So they are gonna be streaming Five Nights at Freddy's 4. If you have never seen anything to do with Five Nights at Freddy's 4, this is going to be a very funny stream. So Maimon, cover your ears if you don't want spoilers about uh, some of the gameplay stuff to do with it. I'm not gonna spoil the story, but I might spoil some of the, the weirdness. Um, Five Nights at Freddy's 4 audio is hecked, like actually hecked. You have to have your headphones turned up to like 100% to hear what's going on in that goddamn game. And the jump scares are so loud. So you are literally, they're like the loudest jump scares in the entire franchise or something ridiculous. But you also have to have, because you have to listen for them coming and that's your main way of knowing if something is there is by listening. So you have to have your volume turned up to like 100%. And then the jump scares are ridiculous ridiculously loud so yeah if you want to see a really funny stream i think we're going to get some really good clips from that particular stream uh, and it's nice as well because obviously because bateman is doing it we don't have to feel the fear ourselves we can have our volume at a reasonable level the only person who is who is going to be suffering is bateman but it is a good one i think five nights at freddy's 4 is actually a really cool addition to it Oh dear. So yeah, I, I think I think it's it's got really good story in it and has a lot of background stuff, so that's great. But oh my god, if you want to watch Bateman suffer, and by the way, this is not a short stream. <laughs> They're gonna be streaming for a while. So if you wanna watch Bateman suffer for a while, check them out, give them a follow. Bateman's also, by the way, a member of the Boobtober staff. So they have been doing a lot of work behind the scenes to make sure that everything runs smoothly throughout the month, making sure that everyone feels like they have someone they can talk to if they're concerned. So if you haven't checked out Bateman before, uh, this is like your call to go check them out. They, this is their second year now running an, uh, like as part of the staff with Boobtober. So they've been a huge help behind the scenes. Uh, definitely go check them out. Same with Unpredictable. Unpredictable joined us this year Bateman was last year so yeah we just we want to celebrate the Boobtober staff because they really do do so much to make this event possible yes good luck is all I say yeah good luck <laughs> you're gonna have to listen men of fact wow Bateman is a man <laughs> so maybe it'll make the gameplay even funnier DBD is the recovery honestly nothing in depth that I don't like is gonna get you after that also Rambo good morning for you I hope you're doing well very very late here I hope you're doing well doo doo <laughs> Doo -doo. <laughs> I think that well talks about Bateman's stream and then we have anime a lot of people here are gonna know anime I'm actually just gonna try can I steal it like this I can oh well this will make shouting out much easier then won't it a lot of people here already know anime anime is actually making some of the items they're giving as giveaways so you can actually watch the giveaways being made uh, so they're doing gloomy bracelets and they're pink themed and i know if they hit certain milestones they're planning on giving some of those bracelets away they're really really pretty as they've written here it's a japanese technique uh, so it's like a very very pretty kind of like sort of bracelet and they're doing them in pink for boobtober so if you want to win a piece of exclusive boobtober stuff Anime is going to be giving those away, so you need to make sure that you're donating to anime to hit the milestones and also that you're hanging around in the stream so that you can be there for the giveaways. Uh, they're a very, very talented crafter on Twitch. They normally do cosplay, but they've also been doing some more gaming recently because they now have a VTuber. So they've been doing a mixture of gaming and, and crafting and they're all around us a very wholesome theme. Like, you know, we've talked about this on stream before, but a lot of craft channels on Twitch generally are like horny on main, cursed on main, uh nightmare on main but anime is actually like a really sweet theme and like does really really sweet stuff and is generally just wanting everyone to be happy and have a really nice time so if you need like a bit of a break and honestly it's a really good pattern for the raid because you'll be going from bateman who is doing a very high stress stream with lots of jump scares straight into anime who's going to be doing some really chill vibes and crafting so honestly if you're around that afternoon it's a really good like path from like very very stressed to very very chill <laughs> so yeah honestly today or later today technically is going to be a really really good mixture of streamers speaking of as well boobtober team members the last team member here on the first day because we do have another team member still to talk about but they're not on the first day uh the last team member for the first day is deimos who is ending out the first day for boobtober's raid train fake men dressed as a japanese guru soon fingers crossed maybe if we can get to the donation goal maybe Ah, uh, you somehow ticked all of those boxes. Thank you. <laughs> I'm working really hard to tick every box. 
oh dear so we have Damos who's gonna be doing some video games they have left theirs a bit vaguer and I expect it's because they are doing such a long stream so as you can see Damos is actually doing a 12 hour stream as their first stream for Boobtober so rather than just playing one game I expect they'll do quite a mixture of games over there so if you're looking for somewhere to chill and relax I've been in Damos' stream many many times they do a mixture of gaming and art and they always have like a very chill vibe where it's like people can just sort of pop in and hang out almost like going for like a coffee with mates but that's like Damos the stream the only bits that I would say are very funny is very occasionally games will do dirty by them and then the reactions them give are so funny <laughs> they make such good clips but uh normally like 90% of the time very very chill it's like 10% of the time very funny <laughs> Anime boy is sweet, but then you get the ice cream. Mm, it's true. You don't want to take you don't want to take ice cream from anime boy stars. It's dangerous. Anime brute bro stars. Hell yeah. Don't ask me while I'm having a cup of tea at midnight. It's not a good idea. <laughs> All right. I think that does end our first bit. We managed to get through one day, guys. Guys, we've managed to do one day. That being said, the, the beginning of the next day, as you can see, we do have Daimos's just super, super, super long stream there. I got some mango ice cream. I have Ben and Jerry's uh, chocolate fudge brownie downstairs, uh, which is not my favorite Ben and Jerry's, but it's the one they had on special. And I am cheap over enjoyment. <laughs> So, you know, it might not be my favorite flavor, but I'll buy it if it's half price, <laughs> you know? So, yeah, I've got that one downstairs, which I might honestly have some... I kind of want some now. It's really warm in this room, and I'm tired. I feel like it's ice cream hours. <laughs> oh, dear. We don't normally talk about anime at all. We don't talk about that. That's a whole nother site file. <laughs> one hour of jelly stream is like one day in the real world. <laughs> yeah, actually, we've gone over one whole day. It's about to be a whole week. Chocolate fudge brownie is really heavy for me. It is heavy for me, too. <laughs> but I'm like, I'm in the mood now. Maybe we'll get through a couple more and then maybe I'll go grab it. Uh, but yeah, we have Radu again, second day. So Radu's streaming a few times and they do these really long streams. That's why they remind me so much of Vile. Vile, are you following Radu? I feel like you and Radu would really get along if you don't already follow each other. Uh, they're also making, they're doing Dwarf Fortress, which is kind of fun. You think so? I'll, I'll shout them out and then you can go check. See if you, you see if you are, because you know I'll shout them out again. They're here. Oh, I won! <laughs> That's my first win of the night. Oh dear. Yeah, if you're not following them already, I feel like there's a vibe there that you would really get along with. To be honest, there's a lot in similar between you. And again, anyone here, because I know quite a few people already know Vile Mods. If you know Vile Mods and you enjoy the vibes, maybe check out Radu. Uh, they do a mixture of makers and crafting as well as gaming. So sometimes they'll be in other sections on Twitch. I know they're playing a game called Dave the Diver right now, which looks very very chill. To be fair, God no, you're fine. Honestly, completely understandable. Shifty, get some good sleep. I hope that you get good sleep tonight. Oh dear, go take care of yourself. I feel like you'd have Jacket Jacket food from One Piece. I don't know what Jacket Jacket food is, but I like the sound of it. <laughs> what is the username of the guy that's playing the very- Oh, that's Bateman Returns. I'll, I'll get I'll get you that again. Don't worry. The very stressful one? That's Bateman. <laughs> I love how it's like, who's doing the stressful stream? That's Bateman. <laughs> that's Bateman Returns. <laughs> there you go. I am getting to know everyone very well on this stream. <laughs> there we are. Oh, dear, but no, Radu, Radu's doing crafting the first day, but then they're doing this the second day. So, again, they're doing the very nice late night stream, so maybe if you're like playing, like watching Dem game and you're getting like a little bit like, oh, I just want to take a bit of a break, pop over to Radu, then pop over to Dem, pop over to Radu, two very sweet beans going side by side. So, yes, definitely check them out again. Next, I'm so sorry, everyone, it's me again. <laughs> Hi, it's me. I'm the problem. It's me again. But then we'll be introducing a little bit more to do of our pink dress challenge and we'll be starting that and that's when we'll have the rewards for one dollar when we'll be adding like pink decorations. Uh, this is my regular stream time. So all of the, I think all of the pink dress streams basically are regular stream time. So if you're only around during the regular streams, you'll see hopefully that from start to finish. It's a devil fruit that gives you the power to turn into a human jacket. Oh, I, mm, I don't really like human contact though. And I feel like as a jacket, you have to touch other humans a lot. And I'm kind of okay with not doing that. <laughs> I'm kind of all right with just never touching other humans. <laughs> oh 
Oh dear. But yeah, we'll be introducing our pink. Obviously, I'm gonna skip over myself a little bit because you'll probably see it throughout the week if you're here already. Uh, that being said, next, I'm excited for the pink dress. Well, I'm excited for Fern, who is doing booby, booby cross stitch. And I actually saw you earlier showing it on your stream. You have to excuse me, Fern. I have been absolutely stalking everyone who's raising money for Bootober. So I was in your stream for basically the whole stream. I'm so sorry. <laughs> please, please don't mind me. I am a terrible, terrible stalker when it comes to this event and I, I just want to make sure that no one having any like breaking technical issues so I'm always holding out just in case anyone is like their stuff is breaking or their tiltify isn't working and stuff like that I'm like I'm there in just in case uh but yes I actually saw it on stream earlier so I can actually talk about it and it's very hecking cute because it gives me the vibes of like you know home is where the heart is kind of embroidery that you'd see someone like hanging in the front of the door but it's just tits there's just loads of tits on it it's amazing literally if you like the subversion of like cottage core i would say so like it's the whole is something you might see in your grandparents house but it's something's different about it that's what fern's making it's great i love it it's actually very similar to the bookmarks we're going to be giving away to some of the streamers where they just got loads of different types of tits on it in different colors and stuff like that it's really nice and they're going to be doing that hell yes yeah. so if you have an interest in embroidery and or if you are if you again just wanting to celebrate some other streamers they do a mixture because today they were doing animal crossing <clears throat> so they do a mixture of gaming and crafts but yeah they are doing this very very cute embroidery and i think it looks really really nice and i think honestly i think a lot of people from my community would absolutely love it because it's that mixture of like you seeing an embroidery on the wall and thinking it's gonna be really old-fashioned and it's like tits <laughs> i think a lot of people from my my community would absolutely love it so if you haven't checked out fern they're doing that on friday and then i think we should do anime boy stars since anime boy stars is starting at the same time as fern we actually have two people going side by side at this point so once again coming back to anime boy stars and they're gonna be making some more bracelets so they and i think yeah they said they're gonna maybe do some fun stuff for a giveaway on that particular day oh i'm all for saying it's not like grandma does <laughs> hell yeah hell yeah yeah you're gonna love it i can see it it is very up your alley i like i think it's very up your alley i think it's very up sleeves as alley i know sleeves has just gone to bed but i think it's up sleeves as alley 100 percent uh probably unpredictables as well this is like a group of people on twitch i'm like god it's up your alley you'd love this <laughs> you'd love what fern is making <laughs> oh dear and yeah animate making some more of the craft bracelets doing some more stuff for giveaways again with giveaways you want to make sure that you're actually in the stream if you want to be there for it so again if you're interested in any of uh any of that make sure that you're checking out anime so that you can be there so that when they're doing the giveaways you can put yourself forward for them yes by the way i love the new emotes i know they've ended up being really cute and i'm, I'm really glad because like a lot of people have added them to their channel so i have so many of the same ghosts and it makes me very smile although the one that i've been using the most is actually schleeves's because look at this stressed out beam <laughs> i love this stressed out ghost so much look at him he vibrate he, he's so stressed I just want all the time off so I can catch all these amazing memes. I know, right? I know. What's oh, so the Dakota welcome one in? What the heck is like talking? I'm sorry, Dakota. I have to introduce the raid train and talk about all the amazing streamers that are taking part in it. So because the raid train is starting like now, I've come in just a little bit early to make sure that everyone gets a proper introduction and we can shout everybody out because everyone's doing amazing stuff during the raid train. I hope you're doing well. Welcome on in. I know it's late. He is mood. He is mood. He is vibrate. <laughs> Ah, uh, so yeah, we have anime. I know we've already shouted out anime, but I will be shouting at everyone again if they appear again, just because people might be coming in later. Don't shout me out. Uh, I, I, no, I'm not streaming. Oh, but next, who do we have here? Oh my god, who could this be? Who could, who could we be? Sh oh wait, two seconds. Wait, I'm, I'm gonna do all this again. I just need to hide it really quickly because my music's given up. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> let me just, let me just hide the. Wait, where the hell am I? Is it this one? No. <laughs> Oh god, I've lost myself. Is it this one? Okay. Oh, okay. Well, we're gonna go really quick. You know what? It's past 8 p.m. I think it's fine. I think it's fine. Uh, I just need to fix my music really quickly. There we go. <laughs> Don't mind this. Don't mind this. You didn't see anything. You haven't seen anything. There we go. <laughs> Too late. I've done it. No. <laughs> Look at you. <laughs> All right. If anyone has not met Isisia before, funnily enough, we do actually have, I feel like we might have Isisia in the community right now. Um, Isisia is making some spooky knits. They were going to be making some hats, pumpkins, some ghosts and ghouls. So I know we have a lot of people in here who really like fibercraft. We have Kels earlier who was also making ghosts. I think 
Schleeves has been known to do some stuff like that on streams. And so yeah, but I guess he has also, by the way, already been streaming for Boobtober in doing like a really, really cute like knitted pattern with like skulls and crossbones and stuff like that in it, all in Halloween-y colors. So they, they are, they've already been doing it. They've already been doing it. They've already been around doing some Boobtobery streams. So yes, if you've not checked out Isis here's stream so far, you need to go back and watch a few already. But they are also taking part as part of the raid train and also doing more spooky knits there. Hell yeah, Kiyoda's real, Kiyoda's not real. Zomboti, good morning. We're just going over all of the amazing streamers who are taking part in the raid train. Is that where you put your fingies? I don't know, I put them here. Look, see, I can like point at things. Like look at them at the bottom of the screen. I have so many fingers. One hat is done, yes. Congratulations, hell yeah. So yes, they've already actually been making stuff on stream. So this is not their first stream for Boobtober. But if you want to catch them doing the raid train, uh, you should be able to, again, we've got quite a few crafts on at this time. So that it's honestly craft central. If you like crafts, we've got so many crafts happening. Um, so yes, there should be a good opportunity for you to check them out. So I did see the raid train as fully as I can. Me too. I, unfortunately, I'm going to have to sleep at times. Uh, and I, I'm going to miss people and I know I'm going to miss them. Like Radu is one where I'm like, I'm probably going to miss most of Radu's streams. And I really would like to see them because they're very cool. But um, yeah, no, I'm going to miss them a lot because of time zones being what it is but yeah I, hopefully most people can catch a few of the streams and again i shout them out i talk about what people are doing them so that if you do want to go watch the vods you can always go back and watch the vods all right next on the list is nyor who says they're playing a spooky game and i'm kind of wondering because they've been playing a spooky game recently and i've really been liking it the art style was really really cute the aesthetic was really good they were doing voices for all the characters it was just very very oh it wasn't this one it was a different game maybe that's the one they're doing now but yeah they were like they were doing all like the, the voices and everything like that for the characters it was like a really chill vibe honestly and i looked in like several of their streams in a row watching them do that and it was just like it was such a good vibe it was such a good vibe so what i would say is Nyor, if you're looking for somewhere they're doing saying they're doing spooky games but i've watched them doing spooky games and it's still really relaxing so if you're looking for somewhere to have like a bit of a wind down and like a bit of a chill time and maybe watch some plays some spooky games but honestly just have some good vibes go watch Nyor. they got really good vibes over there really really good vibes there's so many streams of us so little time. I know, right? You can never get enough of them. The support is lovely. Honestly, it's been it's been amazing. Like everyone's been so good. We've had so many sign-ups and stuff like that. It's been really lovely to meet all of these new streamers I wouldn't normally get to meet as well. Uh, so yeah, it's been it's been fantastic. But yeah, if you want to check out Nyor, they got just a really, really positive vibe on their stream. And I think sometimes even when you're playing like a, you know, a spooky game, having someone who has that kind of more chill relaxing like slower like they talk a bit slower they kind of announce the everything properly they take breaks in the gameplay to have like little tea and snack breaks even on spookier games which is really really nice because it breaks it up really well so yeah if you haven't ever checked out Nyor before i do recommend it uh they are very very good streamer clicking all of these names like a follow over oh bless you i'm glad that there are some new names on the list though that you can check out because it's been lovely to recommend these streamers to everyone because i know that i'm recommending them a good place all right next we have Pez, who is someone who I have only met for the first time because of, of this event. They are not someone that I was aware of beforehand. And they actually stream in a time where I'm awake, which is, again, an amazing thing about this event because it means I can actually get to meet some new people because otherwise you get very stuck in your own community and then who are you meeting? So I'm really grateful because they are doing 3D printing and I know they, they've actually been recommended by a couple of the streamers taking part. They were like, you know Pez? And I was like, I didn't know Pez. But yeah, they're doing Friday the 13th. They're doing some spooky prints. Printing. Uh, for me, I've actually recently got a, a 3D printer uh, thanks to Amazonia Cosplay, another streamer on Twitch. Um, so I, I'm probably going to be watching them and just learning some bits and bobs. But yeah, no, I'm, they seem like a really, really sweet bean. I'm honestly surprised that I've missed them up until this point. And they've become highly recommended from a couple of members of the Boobtober staff, as well as other streamers in Boobtober. So yeah, I, I think it'll be like a really good vibe because I think anime is raiding into pairs. So it'll be like the anime into pairs pipeline will be really really nice for just some like chill vibe crafting kind of stuff and it's nice to have that ongoing for a while so yeah if you haven't checked out pez before this is your this is your call you need to go check out pez you need to go send them some love yeah pez is really nice i have actually heard so many good things about pez from you and from a couple of other people as well and i'm like how have i never heard of pez 
Why is everyone saying I've never heard of Pez? Who's <laughs> and, and now that I have, I'm like, how have I never met them? They seem really nice. Great. Everything is good. And they've been they're another person who was in quite early and was very organized. So honestly, props to them, at least from like a staff point of view, they've been lovely to work with. Uh, to be fair, I would actually say that we were talking about this with the uh the Booptober staff, how good everyone in the raid train has been to work with so far. Um, because I was very concerned when we we published the schedules that I'd have like 10 people come and be like, oh actually I didn't check my times and it was wrong. No one. I've checked times for people. People have asked me to double check that things are correct, but everyone was really on it, checking their times ahead of time, making sure that everything was correct. When I published the schedule, I was like, perfect, that's exactly what we were expecting, and it's like not what I was expecting. So yeah, if you see a streamer taking part in the raid train, that's an organized bean. <laughs> They've all been super organized. That's why their name is Pez, because Pez Candy. I love Pez Candy. Officially part of work, had about five people. Oh God, this is the thing. You could be the best driver in the world, but you come near like a bad driver, it's terrifying. The subreddit of like bad drivers has terrified me of being on the road. Like Jesus Christ. Then again, American roads are already scary though, because I don't know who's meant to go when. But yeah, seeing all of those, terrifying. There we go. There's another streamer for everybody to go check out. Another streamer who has already been streaming for uh, Boobtober and has already done quite a few streams for Boobtober and has already smashed their fundraising goal. Is, is Lenny. Lenny's been doing fantastic and I know a lot of people here would really really like Lenny's streams. Like we have so many Dead by Daylight players here, Lenny also streams Dead by Daylight. We have lots of cozy game streamers here, Lenny also streams cozy games. Like if you like uh, either cozy games or like Dead by Daylight kind of vibes, that you will find something you like there. And they are such a sweet bean. They are so relaxed. They they welcome on everyone in a really nice calm way. It's a really chill vibe there. It's just nice. It's just really nice. Floto, welcome on in. It's 1 a.m. What are you doing? I'm opening the raid train. <laughs> I hope you're doing well. It's really late for us too. <laughs> Many is lovely. They are. They've been so lovely. You can, you can trust being in my passenger seat. Thank you. I'm sure that I can. Yeah. Lenny is a sweetest. They are. Like, again, Lenny is someone that I've only met because of Boobtober this year, and they were never on my radar before. And I've lurked like every one of their streams, and I've always had a really nice time. They were playing Cult of the Lamb. I'm actually in their cult now. Just saying. <laughs> I made my character look like Sonic the Hedgehog. Don't worry about it. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, I'm in their cult. They, they're just really, really nice. They do like a lot of community games. They do really chill games. And then they also play Dead by Daylight. So they really do have something for everyone. If you've never met them before. I had never met them before. I am sad that it took me this long to meet them because I have really enjoyed lurking their streams. I, again, I've been lurking like six or seven streams at once. So there are a lot of points during Boobtober so far. And like Lenny's has always been like, whenever I'm like, oh God, I've had so much work to do. I've had all this paperwork to do. I like lurk Lenny's stream for a bit. Cause I'm like, this is a chill vibe. Vibe. This is the vibe. It, that is actually, it's the perfect vibe for after you've been doing loads of paperwork and you just need to like rest your eyes and relax for a bit. Lenny's perfect. Literally, whatever game they're playing, they're perfect for that. Really, really good. Ah, oh, dear. Gonna get in, grab some food. No, have, have fun. I hope the work goes well for you, Diana. Take care of yourself. But thank you so much for joining me in my ASMR stream. But yeah, if you've never checked Lenny before, go check them out. Really, really sweet bean. All right, now I'm going to go to Vile Second because we have a little short stream here and I'm going to shout Bateman out specifically because we will be raiding into Bateman that day. Um, so we are doing the first collab between me and Bateman Returns, I think ever. The first ever schedule collab between me and Bateman. So for those who don't know, me and Bateman have been mates for like coming close to 10 years at this point but we don't collab on twitch very much because bateman's an evening streamer and i'm a morning streamer so i've known bateman for a very long time like again it's getting pretty close to 10 years since i've met bateman um but yeah we've never properly collabed before i've turned up in a couple of their streams every now and again like on mic or stuff like that but not really as a formal collab and me and bateman are playing toe Dam and Earl. now you will see a bit of a a, a thing going there because i'm actually also playing toe Dam and Earl with Val mods and with them throughout the week but we are having a little a little a introductory to toe Dam and Earl, which is one of my favorite games growing up it's an old sega genesis game uh it's very chill vibes it's like very silly honestly like it's one of those games it's just silly it's just a very silly game but it's fun it takes a couple hours to finish the game if you do everything right and so we're going to be streaming for just a few hours until we've waited to file mods who is the last person to turn up from the uh, boobtober staff let me get a shout out for var mods as well 
Oh dear. Also, I should say, for anyone who doesn't know Bateman, Bateman is first of all the person who is previously streaming Five Nights at Freddy's for god knows how long. Uh, so they do like a lot of horror-ish games, they do Dead by Daylight, um, but then they've also played a lot of Phasmophobia in the past, and at the moment they've been doing like Elden Ring, Diab uh, Elden Ring and GTA collapse with other streamers. So yes, you need to sign up. I should have sent you a version of the game, but if you have any questions, do ask. File. But yes, if you haven't checked out Bateman before, they do a lot of those spookier kind of streams, uh, and they're, they're a really good vibe. They do a lot of silly stuff on their streams. They've done like maids, they, they dressed up as a maid, and like done a stream fully as a maid and like basically full drag before. They're a very open streamer. Like if you if you have a chat with them, you you probably find that they'll chat with you back about most subjects. Uh, and again, they're like open to having a good time and a laugh. You know, getting into full drag on stream. Sure, why not? We'll do that just for fun. Literally, it was just for fun. Um, you know, they've done like recorded videos for other people's competitions where they've like done really weird and unusual things. They had this whole stuff with donkeys as well. See, so yeah, if you've never checked out Bateman, not only are they a wonderful member of Booptober staff, but they are also a very talented streamer in their own right. They do a lot of really cool stuff over there. And speaking of talented streamers who are also Booptober staff, Vile Mods. So Vile Mods. Vile Mods, who is the person who has the infamous clip now of uh, them stroking a lubed shaft while saying, why is it textured? Um, <laughs> it's a wonderful, a wonderful clip that really, really highlights the stuff that they do on their stream. <laughs> that I definitely can't use for the highlights reel. Um, but they've been making, they've got like these pink blasters. I mean, actually, Val, you're in chat if you wanna, if you wanna talk a little bit more about the stuff that you'll be making. But they've already been raising money for charity again. So these aren't Val's first streams for Booptober. They actually streamed last weekend for Booptober as well. Um, but they do modding of blasters. They do lots of plastic 3D printing work, stuff like that. It's mostly just chaos. They were trying to mod a bat. I think it was a bat from Stranger Things, but they, the, <laughs> The wood colour is like my skin colour, just for like reference. It was like this colour. And then it was in the shape of a tube that goes smaller but then has a ridge at the end, which is textured. <laughs> and they were doing this a lot to try and move the fleshy bit off of the pole. It also shoots out darts from the tip. Everything about that clip, everything about that part of the stream, I don't think you could have made it much more suspicious if you'd tried. I really wish I'd seen what your, your Twitch thumbnail looked like. The fleshy bit. Yeah, because it's like elastic and my skin colour, but in the shape of a tube with a ridge at the end. And everyone was in joke was talking about vials circumcising their bat, I don't know why. I don't know what you were doing, and then you took a knife to it, and honestly, I don't even have a penis and I cringed. Jesus Christ. <laughs> Oh dear. But yeah, if you've never met Val before, I honestly think that this kind of describes what Val does <laughs> pretty well. <laughs> That's a pretty good description, right, Val? Um, then, no, they are a chaos craft and they do very chaotic streams. Uh, but they, this is, again, they've raised money for Boobtober for three years straight now. Last year they, they joined as a member of staff for, for Boobtober and this year they're a member of staff again. So they do a lot of behind the scenes work as well. So they're not just raising money, they're also helping everyone else to raise money as well. A very hacking sweet bean. As much as we are saying a lot of cursed stuff about them, they are a very, very sweet bean. They've helped for Boobtober for years at this point. They've always been one of us biggest fundraisers. They always do some of the biggest giveaways. So definitely go check them out if you haven't before. And I would also say check out Val's giveaways and stuff on their own channel as well because they have some members of their community that often come forward and offer some of their own blasters so you can get some really like you can win some amazing custom stuff through Vile so yes not just from Vile themselves but also from the community yes definitely check out Vile if you have not before they're very very talented and they're very hecking cool bean I think a lot of you would like them uh, then we go into another bean that I'm just meeting for the first time because I need to get some ice cream All right, we're gonna, we're gonna go through Saturday and then I'm gonna get an ice cream stream because the whispering is doing my throat in, but I also need to stay whispering because I can't yell. Weirdly enough, my voice is primed for yelling, not for whispering. So this actually hurts my voice more than, uh, more than talking does. <laughs> Weird. Uh, the, all right, but no, Benavid. Benavid is an, another person that I am very lucky to have met this year 
purely because of Boobtober. They're actually someone who is closer to unpredictable artists, and unpredictable artists has introduced them to this community, and we love to have them on board. And they're going to be doing some polymer crafts, which I watch so many polymer like earring making videos on uh, TikTok. I don't know if other people get them, but I get so many polymer crafts. So I'm, I'm probably not going to be able to catch Benevieve live because again, they're very, very late my time, but I'm really looking forward to seeing the board and seeing the stuff they make because yeah, like I love watching polymer crafts. It's so satisfying watching the colors blend together and everything mix and then cutting it and stuff like that. So if, uh, if you're like getting to the end of Val's stream, and you're like, oh, you know, there's a lot of chaotic energy, but I need just like a few chill vibes with just some like cutting and ASMR. Not that Var doesn't have a good ASMR voice, they could do ASMR if they wanted. But like, if you need that kind of vibe, maybe we can swap over to Benevieve and then do really, really cute vibes of like fun polymer clay and cutting stuff up and nice colors and just chill, chill, relax and less chaos. <laughs> Oh, dear. oh, she makes the cutest mini foods and tiny gnomes. There you go. See, I was going to say, I know that Unpredictable knows them better than me. I'm very lucky to have met them because of this event in particular. So yeah, if you've never met Medivive before, definitely go check them out, especially if you're someone who would normally be up around this time, because that's when they're going to be streaming. So if you're already up at this time anyway, and you need more polymer crafts in your life, why not? Why not? There we go. All right. Let me just, sorry, I've like accidentally moved stuff around. There we are. Next, once again, we have Deimos. I will do them another shout out. They're all of their ones because they're doing really long streams. Unless it's part of a collab, they've just, oh, I nearly did raid. That would have been a bit embarrassing, wouldn't it? Unless they're like specifically in a collab, they've just titled their stuff as video games because they're probably gonna be playing a mixture of games during that time and they bridge the gap to the next streamer. So again, if you're looking, uh, because both Benevieve and Vala are both crafters, if you're looking for someone who's doing more gaming, them does sometimes do art streams and they are pretty good artists honestly they do a lot of really good biro stuff uh but for boobtober this year they're mainly just doing some games bridging the gaps all that kind of stuff and again a very sweet bean helped a lot behind the scenes with boobtober so if you haven't checked them out before and you do want to send them some love i would honestly suggest sending love to all of the staff team at boobtober if you've not followed them before because that first of all they've helped out so much behind the scenes they've been doing so much to make sure that everyone is comfortable and is aware and informed of everything they need to be doing so the best way you can go send them some love is to either send them a follow if you haven't followed them before if you've spotted their live tell them thank you for the hard work uh, it goes a really long way because when you're putting you're putting all this effort into a project and stuff like that having someone pop by and just be like thank you for your hard work you know i really appreciate it goes a really long way so if you're seeing bateman unpredictable deimos or var mods and you happen to see them live even if you can't stick around for a long time just send them some love they've really been doing a lot of hard work and they deserve it also feathered why are you awake <laughs> go to bed but welcome on in i hope you're doing well welcome 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 to my late night stream I'll tackle you with a hug. <laughs> One of these days, I'll ship out that blaster. <laughs> oh my god, the feather, you it's so weird seeing it. all these people. It's like, I know you're on my time zone. Why are you awake? Ah, oh dear, yeah, if you haven't checked out Deimos before, go check them out. Next, we have another streamer who has been doing very, very well on their own stuff. They have been smashing their goals. They have been raising so much money. And honestly, they've been, I've again, really been enjoying their streams. They did some Pokemon today. Uh, let me just get their shout out in there. There you go. Yeah, they were doing Pokemon Scarlet and Violet today. And I was really enjoying watching them play because it's a very chill game and they were doing really chill vibes. They have a really, really cute VTuber model where they're like a fox girl with like some extra details. It's really, really cute and they do like just cute cozy comfy vibes with a lot of different games so it looks like they're planning to play either pokemon again or maybe some stardew that day so if you want to go send them some love i mean you can honestly just go along and tell them how much they're smashing it because they absolutely are they have been smashing their goals on that stream they have raised so much money already it is an incredibly like incredibly wholesome to watch so and i know another person that i only met because of boobtober this year because i hadn't met them before and now that i have i'm like how have i not met them before all this point because they play all of my favorite comfy games they play stardew they play pokemon these are the games i lurk in when nobody i know is live i just go and watch these comfy games so yes very heckin sweet bean they're doing really really well they're doing amazing things with boobtober and if you'd like to go send them some love they are also part of the raid train and i think they do appear later as well but yes they will be appearing later too whenever you can hon i'm often awake this time oh bless you <laughs> i hope you get some good sleep at some point all right uh 
this one is just another pink dress one i'll be honest i'm gonna skip myself because we can talk about what i'm doing more because i will be streaming later today doing some recording so i just don't feel the need unless it's a collab to, to talk too much about what i'm doing uh unless it's a special stream. Yeah. oh my god is that a new what are you doing up so late good morning though i hope you're doing well it is now the morning yeah. Yeah. the midnight party we like this party. We like, we like this party. We like this party. We like, we like this party. We like this party. We like, we like this party. We like this party. The Fanka bus is coming. Everybody's jumping. New York to San Francisco. And interstate with this track. The wheels are still on turn. The traffic lights are burning. So if you like the party, come on and move your body. Oh dear. All right, so we're going to skip my stream because I do want to get on to everybody else and I want to talk a little bit more about everyone else because it, I, I knew this would take longer than an hour. Look at this. I knew it. I knew it. But yes, yeah, next we have Sunkoi, who has also smashed their first goal and had to raise their targets already because they've done such a good job. All right, mum, heads off to bed. Get some good sleeps. <laughs> We like, we like the party, shh, we like the party. <laughs> oh dear. Sankoi has already smashed their first goal with streaming and is doing a really, really good job. Like they've already raised over $100. $100 was their original goal for the entire month and they raised it in the first stream. So they're coming back to the raid train with higher goals now and more milestones because they had to up it so quickly. And they are doing a cosplay challenge where they are doing, uh, they're doing a character from Hades, I believe. So a mythical character. But while they're doing their mythical character cosplay, they're also talking specifically about the myths of breast cancer so like for instance things like you know there's a lot of unusual myths around breast cancer one that was really prevalent like 10 years ago was if you had your mobile phone in your bra that it could give you breast cancer which is just not true but yeah I don't want to spoil too many of them but Sun Koi is going to be talking about a lot of unusual myths around breast cancer that have happened over the years uh, while also making a mythical character cosplay and they've already been doing really well they've cut out loads of patterns they have their antlers based and stuff like that so they're doing a really good job so they're, they're not starting from the beginning you meant breast mythology i mean it kind of is breath breast mythology sort of it's myths around breasts sort of but yeah so they're going to be doing that it is a really really cool take on it because when they're talking about breast cancer they're bringing it from a completely different angle and again some of them are a lot more ridiculous than others like some of the myths that have been about breast cancer are like really out there and again i'm gonna not spoil any of the more interesting ones but definitely go check out Sunkoi. they're very very sweet being they normally do makers and crafting and cosplay content anyway so if you enjoy makers and crafters and cosplay and you're looking for another sweet bean to follow maybe check out Sunkoi. Expected to hear tick goblins. That can be next year. We can do the tick goblins next year. We can't have everything every year. You know, we have to leave something for next year. <laughs> okay, tick goblins. And then we have another anime boy stream making more of the bookmarks and also more of the bracelets. So if you happen to miss the two leading up to this point, well, don't worry because you can get to anime boy stars and you can come watch them there. Again, I think I kind of already given the premise of anime. But if you missed it earlier, they are making the stuff that they'll be giving away live on stream. They're doing these interesting traditional techniques for making bracelets and also for making bookmarks as well. They end up looking really, really pretty and they honestly look really fancy because they're doing them in this pink monotone and it's really pretty. So yes, if you haven't seen any of the stuff in the Boobtober Discord, they have actually been posting some pictures, but they're also going to be making them live on stream so you can check it there. Tick Goblin theme is next year. That's next year. The Goblin tip theme, that's next year. <laughs> We're gonna make it harder and harder to spread outside of Twitch every year. <laughs> there we go. And then we have another returner because we have Lenny again, who is streaming again for Boobtober and they're gonna be playing some Resident Evil Village. So in this particular case, I actually can't go and watch this stream because I am planning on playing Resident Evil Village in November. So I don't wanna spoil myself from the story, which means I need you guys to go search out Lenny for me and go send them some love because I can't go watch that stream. So if anybody, if anybody here is interested and cause I think I'm raiding into Lenny if memory serves. <laughs> I think I'm going to be raiding into them and then I immediately have to lurk. So if anyone's coming in with us, make sure that you send Lenny lots and lots of love that day because I can't hang around for that long because I don't want to be spoiled. So yes, but I have heard really, really good things about Resident Evil and knowing Lenny who does really, really chill vibe streams anyway, even if you're not a fan of horror games, I think you'll probably really enjoy their playthrough because they take breaks, because they relax, they chill out. They also have very funny reactions. They were playing the Mortician's Assistant the other day and every time they got jump scared, they were like, Ooh! They were like full on turkey noises. It was very funny. 
<laughs> they have a really, really good jump scare noise. When they get jump scared, they go full turkey. 10 out of 10. <laughs> so I can only imagine, again, I, I don't know too much about Resident Evil 8 just yet, but I can only imagine there'll be some really, really good jump scares in that one, where you'll probably get some really good clips. Ah, uh, there. All right, next we have Red. So Red is another person who I believe has run raised for Boobtober all three years that Boobtober has been running. They are a real veteran of breast cancer awareness fundraising, and they are going to be probably doing some, yeah, knitting or crochet. I was going to say, they're probably going to be doing some either breast cancer or Halloween themed knitting or crochet. They do that a lot. They're very, very good. They're very fast. They were one of the first people I followed for that. And I remember watching them and being like, how are they going so quickly? Because they'd be like talking to chat and be like, in the background it's very heckin impressive they're a very very chill vibe they're also another one of those streamers that is very much an open book they talk about all sorts of subjects on their streams which means that you can pop in and kind of talk about most things and unless they specifically say i don't want to talk about that today they're really really good they chat about mostly anything uh, which is really nice i love those kind of open streams where you could come in and they could be talking about like they could be talking about like their favorite pie like pizza topping one day and then the next day they could be talking about like women's rights like it, it really is all over the place but it's in the best possible way that you really could be talking about anything and i really like that <laughs> turkeys apparently changed their official name really chuck oh 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 you mean like the country turkey not like the country i was gonna say how are the animal turkeys voting on changing their name <laughs> there's no way there's no way that a band of turkeys have got together and be like we don't like being called turkeys actually <laughs> i was like what do you mean <laughs> What do you mean? There's no way. But yeah, if you've never checked out Red before, very, very sweet being, very talented crafter, a real veteran of Boobtober as well. So definitely send them some love if you haven't met them in previous years. Now is your year. You can meet them now. And then we have, honestly, a special guest joining us. So Queenie has been on a bit of a hiatus from streaming recently, and they decided that they would come back specifically to stream for Boobtober. They, they streamed a lot before. They have streamed a lot in the past. They are a very experienced streamer. They've just got other things going on in their life at this point, but they heard about Boobtober and they decided that they would come by and do a special stream just for Boobtober. So if you're not in Queenie's community already, uh, if you are in Queenie's community, surprise, did you know that they're going to be doing a stream and they're going to be coming by and giving you all some amazing queenie queenie broadcasting action but uh if you're not a fan if, you, if you're not a fan already of queenie uh you might have seen queenie popping up in deimos's stream baitman's stream strange bait stream so they do community yeah community <laughs> you might have seen them popping up on other people's streams because even though they've not been streaming themselves they have still actually been a part of a lot of collaborations uh, and they're just a really sweet bean they are my girl crush um so you can go support them but please don't take her she's mine um <laughs> Sorry, uh, you can't have her uh, claimed. That that's my that's my woman right there. <laughs> but yeah, she's a really really sweet bean. A lot of like really really positive energy. She's got that really like chatty kind of vibe. So if you're looking for someone to chat to for a few hours, Queenie will chat to you. She'll, she'll chat a lot, even more chatty than me maybe. Uh, the mine is like from Hercules. Honestly, a very strong choice, and I don't blame you. Oh dear. All right, then we're back into a familiar face here, a familiar face to end the day. File mods is actually on this day, I believe, beginning and ending the day. Yeah, look at them. They begin the day and they also end the day. <laughs> Doing more cursed, but also blessed nerf blaster action, no doubt. <laughs> maybe some more shaft, maybe some more lubing, maybe some more unusual textures. Who knows? None of us know. I don't think even Vile knew that that's what they were going to be doing until that stream. <laughs> Again, they have already been doing fundraising for Boobtober, you can find their previous streams where there is more stuff, but they do these really lovely long crafting streams where you can kind of just hang out and vibe. Bit of a cursed community, but like in the best possible way. Val is a child of God. Yes. I'm sorry, can you not lube the shaft and also be a child of God? I feel like you can do both. <laughs> where in the Bible does it say that thou shall not lube thy shaft? <laughs> I don't remember that bit. And I went to Christian schools. We were taught about the Bible. And I remember them telling me about that bit. <laughs> oh my god. That does mean we've actually completed the first day. I have half an hour now to get through all of these streamers. So we're gonna have to like speed it up a little bit because I don't wanna be late for my raid. So we're gonna we're gonna speed it up. If I've already shouted out the streamer, we might not shout them out. Oh no, I can shout them out again, but we might not be going for too long. Radu is gonna be playing some Stardew Valley. You didn't sing those songs about No, we didn't, weirdly. 
Weirdly enough, we did not do that. And on the seventh day, <laughs> we looped the shaft. Exactly. Uh, so Radu's going to be playing some Stardew Valley if anyone here is looking. I think actually both of Radu's final streams are Stardew Valley and then also Dave the Diver. Yeah, Dave the Diver. So if you're looking for a couple of really chill vibe streams, both of Radu's last two streams are like chill gaming vibes where they're going to be playing some games that are already very relaxing. And again, we're going from Vile's community straight into Radu. You know, it's a nice to have that like having some crafting and also some gamers you want a bit of a mix you don't want all of one because it gives a nice variety and Radu said bringing that variety at night time and doing some more gaming streams we then have Fenrin who another person that I had meet and they are doing some eerie spooky puzzles for Halloween and again bringing a different vibe to that night because that night then we'll have Vile doing their crafting Radu doing their chill vibes and Fenrin doing their spooky vibes it's just nice variety and honestly everything I've heard about this stream is that they're a really good bean they did join a little bit later but they've been super organized they've got all their stuff together they're again another person who's been an absolute joy to work with I know that Unpredictable has worked with them a little bit more than I have and they've been wonderful it's been really really good it's been really lovely to have them and I'm really glad that we managed to get them as a part of the train to be fair so yeah if you haven't checked out actually have I checked out Fenerin? two seconds I haven't I was gonna say I might not have because they're so new let me follow them real quick there you go that's one that I've missed because they've only just joined <laughs> hell yeah so now I'm following them as well so if I'm following them why are you not following them huh <laughs> what's that about <laughs> All right, then we have Arya Sosong, who's again doing some cozy gaming. We're looking at another cozy game stream, which is good because that'll be straight after Fer Fenrin Lin. I keep, keep saying this wrong. So straight after them, who is doing some more spooky vibes. So now we have Arya, who'll be bringing us some more chill vibes. Caught live on stream. I was. I was caught live on stream, not following someone. Terrible. But you know what? I did go follow him before the raid train. Well, I say that. The raid train has technically started because here I am. But I did still go follow them. <laughs> Oh dear. Doing some more cozy games. I think as well with Aria because we also have them here. I believe they are. Yeah. They're going to be doing some cozy Starbound stuff for their last two streams. It brings in a nice mix because again, we do have a lot of different things going on here. So yes, more cozy streams is always very welcome. Then we have Necro Kitsune again, bringing us more comfy games of Stardew and Pokemon. I, I know that I've already gasped a lot about them, but really they are such a wonderful person to hang out in their stream. Very, very chill vibes. I think most people here would really, really like the stuff they're doing. I think a lot of people here would really like the games that they play as well, because I know that we have a lot of Stardew and a lot of uh, Pokemon fans here, and they're really knowledgeable. Like, they, they talk a lot about it. So if you're a fan of it, it's someone you want someone that you can really talk about those franchises with in depth, really good option is to go check out Necro. Very, very sweet bean. All right, after that, we have me. I will mention this because this is a different stream, but I'm going to be doing one crafty coffee morning where I'll actually be in the Boobtober live chat in Discord, which means that if any Boobtober streamers want to join me in the chat room, I'll be streaming for two hours. Anyone can pop in and out. I'll just be doing some like chill crafts. We won't have awards going that day because I don't want to, you know, interfere with anyone who does join. But yeah, we'll just be having an open mic for anyone who is taking part in Boobtober that would like to join in and be on stream. Uh, but it's completely up to them. Obviously, it's a personal choice. And also, a lot of people will probably be asleep. Like, Val will probably be asleep. Radu will probably be asleep. But we have some sleepy beans. So, obviously, a lot of people won't turn up because of the time zone. But I have it there just in case anybody wants to. Then we have another really lovely stream by Sunkoi, who is doing more of the mythology stuff around breasts and also more of the mythology cosplay stuff. So, we're going to shout them out again. It... <laughs> maybe maybe not i mean maybe not i guess i mean i feel like i feel like it's around the time you'd normally be asleep right but maybe not ah oh, dear so we have sun Kui doing more of their mythical stuff anime doing more of the bookmarks and also that is a part of the day they're going to do their final giveaways so again if you want to make sure that you're going and being there for the giveaways because with most giveaways for charity events if you're a bit newer to charity events you have to actually be in the stream to take part so you want to make sure that you're following a lot of these streamers that are doing giveaways if you're interested in winning any of the items they're giving away because you can't just like be like oh i'm not going to be there can i enter anyway no you normally have to be there so go give them a follow go make sure that you're there so that you don't miss any of those giveaways then we have a collab between deimos and bateman where they're going to be playing tiny tina's wonderland together once again they have actually been playing that uh, already while raising money so there's always some vods of this if this sounds of interest to you they will both have vods on their channel where you can already go and see some of the stuff they've done but they're, they're going to be specifically taking part in the raid train and also playing tiny tina in that so yes 
again, if you haven't gone and checked them out, they're both Boobtober staff, they're both doing lots of amazing work for Boobtober and they both deserve an awful lot of love for all of the work that they've done behind the scenes this year and previous years as well. So yeah, if you haven't checked them out, go check them out. And then we have sleeves. So sleeves is actually a knitted knocker. Uh, a knitted not a knocker knitter so knitted knockers is a separate charity from bcrf that is in the uk uh, knitted knockers basically has a team of knitters around the uk who will knit prosthetic boobs and basically for people who are waiting for a prosthesis or don't want to use prosthesis anymore they can apply to have one of these knitted boobs and it's a much more lightweight version so around 30 years ago breast cancer was treated very very differently to how it is now and the surgeries were very different and a lot more invasive because of that a lot of women that had breast cancer 30 plus years ago they would have had a mastectomy they would not have had a reconstruction and they would have been offered a prosthesis and at the time there was like two sizes available like there really wasn't very many options so you be given your prosthesis you would be sent on your way and that would be it and that's it that's all the aftercare that you really got and of course things have changed a lot but those women who went through those surgeries are still around today a lot of them and you know again the surgeries have happened now they're at an age where it's probably not an ideal situation to go under the knife again so they're stuck with prosthetics that often don't fit them are very uncomfortable and surgeries that were a lot more invasive and often removed a lot more than was necessary so because of that, Knitted Knockers is a wonderful charity. If you're, say, sick of your prosthesis, if you don't want to deal with that anymore, or if you're someone who's had a double mastectomy and just doesn't want to, like, deal with having prosthesis, um, a, a Knitted Knocker is an option that you can apply for in the UK, and they have waterproof ones now as well, and volunteers like Sleeves are the people that make them. So let me, let me properly shout out Sleeves. They're going to be making some Knitted Knockers. These will eventually be sent to people who are breast cancer survivors, who don't want to always deal with having a prosthesis or just don't want to deal with it at all. It's a really, really wonderful charity. I've met many women, uh, especially older women, who have benefited from the work of Knitted Knockers. So yeah, how do they get them to be waterproof? So what they do is uh, they'd still knit them, but then they coat them and then cover them in this like very thin film. And what it means is that the water doesn't get into the wool. So it's still very lightweight and still comfortable to the skin, but it, it, water can't get into it. It's really cool, yeah. They've only started doing that in the last few years as well. But what it means is that you can go swimming with them because a lot of, uh, again, the elderly, swimming is a big activity that's pushed as you get older because it's a full body workout, but it's not too high intensity and most people can do it. And yeah, a lot of women who have had these mastectomies, again, 30 plus years ago, uh, they don't, they can't take their prosthesis in the water with them because it's really heavy. It, it weighs them down. So having a knitted knocker means that you still have the, the boob, it'll still appear like you have a breast there without all of the extra weight. So, I mean, a lot of people don't care. It is, it's a personal preference thing, but yeah, that's what Sleeves is doing. Uh, Sleeves will be doing that even outside of Boobtober. So again, if you want to support someone who's doing a lot of work, even outside of Boobtober for breast cancer, definitely go check out Sleeves. They deserve a lot of love for this. They've also been doing fundraising already. So you'll also find VODs already from the work they've been doing. They were actually live earlier today. So yes, if you haven't gone and checked them out before, you definitely want to go send them some love. They're really, really good. And again, they are one of those people that is not just doing work for breast cancer awareness during this event. They do it throughout the entire year so really big big ups to sleeves then we go all the way down here to our second stream from Fenrin, Fenrin excuse me where they're doing a cozy indie game this time rather than a spooky game I think when talking about Fenrin before they do a lot of indie games on their channel <coughs> so if you're someone who's a little bit more interested in indie games they might be a really good option for you where you might discover some new games through them, which is always good. I'll be honest, I, as, as a streamer myself, sometimes those kind of streamers are really useful just to watch because you'll be like, oh, this is a stream that I'm interested in. I'd like to go maybe play that myself. Or this is a game that I'm not interested in and I'm glad that you're playing it because I think I'd get really frustrated. So yeah, they're a really, really good streamer for discovering new games. But uh, from everything I've heard about them as well, because I haven't been able to catch one of their streams yet because of the time, uh, they're a very, very sweet bean. I'm actually hoping that this stream in particular that I can catch because I should be awake for at least like the first hour so fingers crossed I would like to catch that one and then we come back up and we're back to unpredictable artist again one of the boobtober staff doing lots of amazing work behind the scenes uh, I believe that that time they're just gonna be doing some fiber crafting yeah so they're doing a few different craft things throughout the throughout the week so when you pop in you might see them doing different things each time because as the name suggests they do all sorts of art they're an unpredictable artist they could do anything 
to see you. No, you're fine. Again, thank you so much. I look forward to seeing your, your streams as part of the raid train, but no, please do get some sleep. Any UK peeps that need to go get some sleep, please do get some sleep. It's important. And I know that we are we are up very, very early for us right now. Uh, I do appreciate everyone who has popped by, especially because this is so out of my regular time zone. So yes, go get your C's. All right, and that's Unpredictable Artist. I think I shared them out, I did. And then we have our stream from Zombie. So Zombie is another slightly later addition and they are doing print 3D printing and printer building. So again, for anyone who has an interest in 3D printing, I know we have a lot of cosplayers in this community. Uh, if you're interested, go check these streamers out because they're gonna be doing stuff that you can then, like you, maybe you'll be like, well, I wouldn't wanna print that personally, but you can take those same skills and apply it to stuff to do with 3D printing for cosplays. There's so many reasons, especially as a cosplayer or someone who take, has an interest in multiple crafts to go check out these streamers because you might not have a 3D printer right now. <laughs> but you might in a few years time <laughs> funnily enough with these things getting cheaper and more accessible we can all get more of these stuff in our house more and more as time goes on so even if you don't currently have a 3d printer go check them out send them some love also this is the stream that they're doing in the raid train so you want to go send them some love while they're live let's start this stream go to sleep everyone through <laughs> i did start stream and just told everyone to go to bed <laughs> i'm projecting <laughs> <laughs> oh dear. But yeah, printing uh, is awesome because it is. It really is. Hanging out where to fatigue. Oh, to bring in a Halloween pop up. Oh my god, jalapeno pop up burger sounds amazing. What well, says Jelly Give? I wish I could give away 3D printers. Maybe one day I'll be a millionaire and next Booptober I'll be able to give away like full machinery. Dex, welcome on in. I hope you're doing well. We're actually just shouting out streamers who are taking part in the raid train. We're going through day by day, shouting out everybody in order to make sure everyone is aware of all the amazing stuff that is happening during the raid train. I also might sound a little different to normal because I have my mic very close to my mouth and I am whispering <laughs> because it's past midnight here it's really late and i don't want to annoy anyone uh, but yes if you've not checked out zombie before they're doing again something very different from anyone else going live at the same time and you can learn a bit more about 3d modeling and 3d printing and getting all of that sorted go send them some love and next we have another collaboration this time between me and deimos where once again like i said we're doing a few toe jam and L streams so yeah zombie also builds the printers on stream there you go which is a lot to learn from. ASMR, it is an ASMR stream. Probably not the most relaxing ASMR, but it is ASMR. Again, shouting out another Boobtober uh, staff member, someone who took on the task of being staff last year and has continued doing it this year. We are doing a collab where we are both playing Toe Jam and L together. Now, Deimos actually does have some previous knowledge of Toe Jam and L, which I'm wondering if it might give them the edge because don't tell them, but I'm actually going to be timing how long it takes all of the all of the Boobtober staff to finish Toe Jam and L with me if we even get to the end. I mean, there's no prizes. I'm just curious. <laughs> but Deimos does know some stuff about Toe Jam and L already. So I wonder if they might have a bit of an edge in this competition which nobody knows the competition is just me <laughs> the only thing is i think deimos does also has a detriment of having to deal with me first thing in the morning when i'm the mo at my most like groggy so i might ruin it even though deimos technically should have an edge so we'll see about that one and then we have our last stream from ned crow katsune again doing they've done several streams during the raid train this is their last one and again doing some more cozy games so if you need some cozy vibes after both me and deimos's chaotic collaboration we're going to be raiding into ned crow katsune so we can give you some good wind down vibes with them and then after neko because i know we've already talked about neko katsune a few times after neko katsune we have orphi who is joining the raid train for the last few days. Orphi, a very, very talented cross-stitch artist. They are working on an absolutely massive piece normally, which is from Zelda. I know we probably have a few Zelda fans here. Uh, they're doing the massive like mural piece, but they're doing it as an embroidery and it's huge. It is, I have never seen such a big cross-stitch pattern. It's like to take up a whole wall kind of levels of big. Um, and it's one of those things where I think they calculated how long it was going to take them to do and it's going to take several years. So, you know, pop by, see how it's going. They are doing absolutely incredible and it's really, I'm really glad we got them as a part of the raid train because they are such a sweet bean. They have such a lovely community as well. I know they're going to do absolutely amazingly. So if you've never checked out Orphy before, they do really long streams normally. They stream over like a pretty long period of time in the middle of the day. And yeah, they just do basically chill vibes and embroidery and if you like chill vibes and embroidery you'll love Orphe. they do have some little cursed elements they are a makers and crafting streamer and you don't get a makers and crafting streamer without just a little bit of cursed but you know it's mainly the community them themselves are very sweet 
bad, dear. I know, I know, it's been mad. Everyone's raised so much money and we literally haven't even started the raid train event, which is the main advertised event. And we're already so close to the goal. Loads of these streamers haven't streamed yet because they're only streaming in the raid train. It's madness, it's madness. After Orphe again, sorry, I just, I'll pop down from Orphe. Again, if you haven't gone and checked out Orphe before, they are doing several very, very similar streams here. I don't know why the last one's a different color, but um, yeah, so make sure you go check them out. But we'll shout them out again when we get to them, but they are doing this, it's a huge piece. <laughs> so I'll be doing the same thing each day because it's massive. Ah oh dear, once again, oh wait, that's not their real. God damn it, Sunkoi, why have you done this? I'm gonna have to grab it from here now. Tut tut. <laughs> No, you're fine, we love Sunkoi. Sunkoi, I believe this is their last stream for the raid train, where they will be doing uh, the last one for doing the mythology around breast cancer while making a mythical character. Really, really sweet bean. I, I can't say enough good about Sunkoi. I was fortunate enough that I was actually able to meet them at TwitchCon, and we were, took part in the cosplay contest together, and they're such a positive bean. They are just like a well of positivity. If you need somewhere to just crash for a few hours, if you're having a bad day, Sunkoi guaranteed chilling out in that stream will cheer you up. Uh, and again, we're really lucky to have them for Boobtober again this year because they always do such fun fundraising events and I think they've taken a really interesting twi a twist on it this year. So, next, Nick Bricks, who once again is going to be doing some Warhammer painting. I believe, if memory serves, all of their streams are Warhammer painting and I think they're the only person taking part with us who is doing figure painting. I know that's popular on Twitch. So again, if you want to meet some more fellow figure painters on Twitch, if you're interested in that very much precision work, like working with tiny paintbrushes and getting everything looking really nice and neat, definitely go check out Nick. They're doing four streams during the raid train. They've been really amazing money for Boobtober already as well. So they're doing a lot of really, really good work. Um, I apologize I'm going a bit quicker through them now. It's just because we're actually meant to be raiding out in about 15 minutes and I still need to get through two more days. Although luckily I can skip this one because this is just another dress stream from me and go straight into Bateman's stream who is going to be streaming some Dead by Daylight. So the way that this part of this event was going to go, I'm really pleased with this day actually because we go from crafting, crafting and then some painting into crafting and then games and then games and then I believe crafting <laughs> it's a really craft heavy day the Monday so if you are someone who enjoys arts and makers and crafting you're gonna love Monday <laughs> Monday has so many makers and crafters going on it and then we just got Bateman in the middle doing games but it makes me smile it makes me smile and I like it let me shout out Bateman again again another member of Boobtober staff who've been doing really really amazing work behind the scenes. They have some really fun streams planned for Boobtober, they have some really fun collabs and they also have like some really big horror games so if you haven't checked them out before they're the one that is doing the Five Nights at Freddy's but the f fourth Five Nights at Freddy's which is arguably the most trolley one for the streamer at least because you have to have your volume so high and then the noises are so loud so if you want to get some really good jump scares you want to check out Bateman it's gonna be really funny 100% I'm gonna be lurking that stream <laughs> taking all of the clips all right and then we have we're very we've been graced with Sammy who is a very very talented car crafter they do like they make their own patterns for plushies. They also make massive cosplay props. You might have seen them with some of their pride props that they've been taking to like events for people to smash bigotry and stuff like that. Very, very talented bean. They're like another one of those per people that like, you know, <laughs> you can basically talk about anything in their stream. They're very open. Uh, so like, don't worry, they're, they're chill. Uh, you'll probably talk about most things. I, can, I think, believe they're an 18 plus stream for that reason. But they do really, really good, amazing crafts. And yeah, they're thinking to maybe do a booby breastplate, which is such a fun idea. And like for someone who's as good at armor and like props and stuff that Sammy is, you know that booby breastplate is gonna be chef's kiss. So if you're looking for more makers and crafters, especially some later night makers and crafters and people that make all their own patterns and do all their own stuff, like really working from the ground up when it comes to like making things, they're not following other people. It's like they will teach you how to make the pattern and then go from there. Go check out Sammy. They are literally, I cannot say enough how talented they are. And again, making, they're doing a booby, booby breastplate, booby breastplate. That's amazing, it's amazing. We all need more booby breastplates. Also, Asir, welcome on in, I hope you're doing well. We're just going through and shouting at all the streamers that are taking part in the raid train, talking about what they're gonna be doing so that people can go check out the different streamers and make sure they're following any anybody that they wanna go see the streams of because we do have so many amazingly talented people. Uh, then we're coming back to Elizabeth, who is our actual raid target for today. So a lot of you will be meeting Elizabeth very, very soon because Elizabeth is our architecture streamer. So 
for anyone who missed it because this was right at the beginning of stream, Elizabeth does architecture. They work in CAD, Autodesk, stuff like that where they build buildings. They are a very, very talented architect and what they are doing is probably one of the most unique things that I've ever seen for a, a charity event where they are building a building, they're making a house, but if you donate you can influence what the rooms are themed on, you can add items of furniture, you can add bits and bobs as they're building the property, and so the house they'll end up with will be, a lot of it will be based on people's donations and stuff like that. It's such a cool idea. I'm a massive architecture nerd, it was literally what I studied in university, I love building, I love Autodesk, I love AutoCAD, I'm, I'm gutted that I'm not in the right time zone to watch most of these streams, but I will definitely be watching the VOD. And also, Elizabeth is literally doing their first streams for Booptober. They've never streamed before. They, they did their first stream a couple days ago where they set everything up. And then tonight is their first official stream. And so we are very blessed to be able to raid into them uh, and support them on their first stream. But if you want to go give them a follow ahead of time before we go raid in, click that link, go send them a follow. Uh, again, with one of the most, not only are they just starting streaming for the first time, but they are doing one of the most unique charity events that I have ever seen on Twitch. It's so different and it's so fun and I think everyone will have a really really good time there so yes definitely go check them out if you haven't already and then of course we're back into our old reliable unpredictable artists where you know you're gonna have a good time if you're in unpredictable stream they are a very very talented team they do literally every art under the sun if you can think of an art they've probably done it or maybe they're going to do it one or the other oh did that okay no that did sh I, couldn't say, I thought it shout out the wrong person then I was mad but um no, if you've never hit them out before, and again, to be fair, even if you're not someone who could normally catch unpredictable streams, I do actually recommend them giving them a follow and sending them some love, just based on all of the work they've done for Booptober. They are a member of staff for Booptober, they are one of the people that have been helping us a lot behind the scenes, helping getting people organised, helping people get their times in and stuff like that. So even if you can't regularly go check out unpredictable streams, like just sending them a follow, being sending them a nice message, something like that, even if it's in the Discord, being like, hey, I saw that you were doing this, thank you so much for all of your hard work because they really have worked so hard unpredictable actually a bit of trivia because i don't think they're here so i think i can talk about it <laughs> bit of trivia unpredictable wasn't originally a member of staff this year but they were doing so much work behind the scenes and we were inviting so many people and so many people were going to them for help that we were like do you want to just be a member of staff this year because i just had an alarm go off for boobtober Oh, it's because of the calendar. I was gonna say, like, what? My calendar gives me alarms when stuff happens? Oh my god. I didn't know that. I'm gonna be awake so often. I need to turn that off. Jesus Christ. I get woken up at like two in the morning when people go live. <laughs> Shoot. Well, good that I learned that now. Oh my god. Um... <laughs> But no, Unpredictable literally joined the team because they were already doing so much basically stuff that you would do as a member of staff that it was like, oh, we, we you might as well be on the team so at the least you can see the behind the scenes stuff. Oh my god, is that Elizabeth? Welcome on in. I hope you're doing well. I hope all the stream setup is going well. I've actually just been gushing about you. <laughs> Alert, Beramos, welcome on in. I hope you're doing well. We've just been gushing about all the streamers that are taking part in the raid train and going through them one by one and talking a little bit about what they're doing uh, before we raid out in 10 minutes. We're very close to the first raid of, or maybe like a little bit longer. I want to give them a little time to introduce their stream, but once they've introduced their stream, we'll raid into them. And then we're back into Orphe again. Again, just if you really like cross stitch and chill vibes with a little bit of cursed in there, gosh, you're going to love Orphe. Orphe is such a sweet bean and like they're incredibly talented as well. Bear in mind that they've mapped out this absolutely massive embroidery and like they've done all of this this technical work behind the scenes i think ofi's a really good example of a streamer where you don't see the amount of work that goes into their streams while they're live because they're very blasé about it like you come into their streams and you have like a really relaxing chat but anyone who knows anything about embroidery and cross stitch knows the amount of work that ofi is doing behind the streams to make their to make their streams really fun and entertaining and as someone who also enjoys embroidery, I think they're amazing. Like, I think the amount of work that they put into their, their work is impressive and inspiring. If you have never checked out Ophi, if you, and you must be new <laughs> for starters, but also like, 
they are such a, such a wonderful vibe and I, I'm, we're so lucky to have them as part of the Boobtober fundraising this year and I hope they have a really really good time uh, so definitely go send them some love they do stream for quite a long time as well so most people can hit them for at least a, like, a little bit yeah, unpredictable VIP. A heck, an unpredictable VIP. Then it's back to me. So I will talk a little bit about this because this is a mega stream and also is then followed by a collab with Vile Mods, uh, where I am streaming for 11 hours this day, I believe. Yes, I'm streaming for 11 hours this day. Uh, so I'm doing a mega stream. I have not done a mega craft stream since Mateus, so I thought it'd be fun to add one in for Boobtober. And yeah, we're going to be crafting. We're going to be doing like a lot of embroidery this stream, as well as some stuff with the dress. So we're going to be swapping backwards and forwards a little bit, just to keep things fresh. We'll probably do some races, some nitro steam races, and maybe some words in there as well, because it is a longer stream. But yeah, I figured, you know, we have one really long stream during the event. And then this one is also finished with the collaboration with Vile Mods. I'll come back to Lenny in a second and Nick, but I'll, I'll just do this one because they they are part of the long stream that I am doing where this will be where I'll be doing my uh, collaboration for Toe Jam and Earl with Vile Mods yes and I don't know if I've ever seen Vile doing a gaming stream so I'm very excited because we've got them we got them we're doing a gaming stream with Vile I bet Vile's community is gonna love this as well and if you haven't followed Vile already and become a part of their community good time to do it because there's going to be a very rare event coming up with vile mods all right now going to go back to nick nick once again going to be doing some more hammer painting on this day doing some some chill vibes which will be good because maybe if you're finding i'm a little bit too much that day and i've got a bit too much energy go check out nick who's doing really precision painting and stuff like that because it will be like honestly like a nice chill vibe that will break up my stream so maybe you need to leave my stream for a couple of hours check out nick and then come back <laughs> kind of thing and I wouldn't blame you I'm kind of glad that someone who is doing slightly more chill vibes is streaming at the same time as me because it means if I'm too much you can go to them like I know that I'm being pretty quiet right now but literally the only reason is because it's midnight otherwise I'd be screaming at you like normal and then once again we have Lenny Lenny going live again wait did we come in halfway through this OST two seconds oh so I don't know if this is the right OST for now I think we might go to Polybridge it's a bit late for that. I, I love the call of the lamb, but it's just not quite the right time. Yeah, it's like suddenly boogieing. Like, are you kidding me? It's like one in the morning. Stop that. No boogieing at one in the morning. Ah, oh dear. All right, go back to the other one. Thank you. Yeah, Lenny again. Again, I think this is Lenny's last stream doing the raid train where they're doing Five Nights at Candy's. So if you enjoy the Five Nights at Freddy's stream with Bateman, honestly, I don't know if Bateman and Lenny are following each other, but I feel like they need to because they both play a lot of the similar games and I think they'd really get along. But yeah, if, uh, if you haven't checked out Lenny, Lenny does a mixture of cozy games and also horror games. They are a very, very sweet bean with a very, very sweet vibe. They've already smashed their main Boobtober goal, but they've so they've had to extend it, which is obviously lovely to see. Really love this. They've been working really hard at fundraising and they deserve a lot of love. And then we, of course, have Val, who I just shouted out. And then back into Elizabeth again, who, once again, all of you are going to have the pleasure of meeting very, very soon. But if you would like to send them any follows ahead of time, uh, because they are aiming for affiliate right now, uh, let me have a quick refresh because I do have their stream stuff open. I can tell you how far away they are from affiliate. They are 23 followers. So if 23 of you have not followed Elizabeth, I would like to go follow them and send them some love because they are aiming for for affiliate at the moment okay send them some love again for anyone who's never streamed before you might think affiliate is really easy but without support affiliate is actually quite difficult and can take a really long time so yeah they're such a new streamer go send them some love if you haven't already and also they are again i've said this before but they are doing one of the most unique streams in the entirety of Bootober. They're like, honestly, they deserve a lot of love for that, especially as their first streams. Like, it's very brave. Then we have, oh, me adding a stream. <laughs> I don't think so. Huge hurdle for a lot of people. It was for me. It was for a lot of people, I think. If you don't have any lot of, lot of previous connections. Uh, dear. But we have Radu here. Once again, this is their Dave the Diver. I've seen a lot about Dave the Diver. I'm very tempted to get the game. Apparently, it's a game where you get to talk to fish or see fish and then also... Uh, make sushi and I love sushi and I love fish. So I'm gonna play this at some point. Maybe I'll watch Radu's VOD of Dave the Diver and see if it's a game that I would like. But yeah, I've heard really, really good things about that game. Uh, so And they were last playing it as well, so they must be liking it if they're doing it again during the raid train. So again, that'll be their last stream on the last day. Go send them some love. We also have Unpredictable again doing their last stream on the last day. They're gonna be doing some fiber crafting. They're doing a slightly shorter stream this day, but there's still plenty of time to catch them. And again, send them some love for all of the amazing work they're doing behind the scenes. And then we have, uh, we have 
Aria, yeah, that seems the next one in the Ray Train, uh, who is doing cozy gaming. So we have honestly a few cozy gamings happening that evening. So if you cozy gaming's your vibe, maybe Wednesday uh, first thing in the morning is going to be your vibe, or maybe last thing at night Thursday, because yeah, we have a few people doing some really really cozy games in a row. And then we have Ophi again, who is also going to be doing more cross stitching again. So I'm going through a bit quicker right now because I need to finish in one minute. <laughs> So I'm, I'm going a little speedy because I don't want to. I don't want to be late for my raid. Um, but then we also have Ophi Stitch again. Their last cross stitch. Uh, I think Ophi as well is only fundraising during. So if they are doing any giveaways and stuff like that, I would imagine that would be the stream where it'd be happening because they are only fundraising during the raid train. So you're gonna want to make sure that you get that stream. Uh, and then that's into me. I'm just doing like this is gonna be the last stream where we do a little bit of the editing for the song. Uh, so it'll be getting all of the fish whisper stuff together. If you want to hear the finished product, I'll be playing it at both of my final streams so that you can see it here, but also at this stream. Oh, thank you so much, Burmos. I actually haven't linked my own campaign yet because I want to celebrate everybody else's. But if you use that link there, you can see all of the streamers that are taking part. You can see all of their amazing campaigns. I will link my one later for the next stream, but I just wanted this first stream to be more about celebrating everyone else and what everyone else has been doing. So while technically I am in the list, you can see everybody who's in the list. Uh, so yeah, we'll be finishing our song this day and then also playing it here as well. Then we have Nick's final Warhammer one uh, here where you can check out Nick doing their last Warhammer painting. They've been doing other stuff around, so that will probably be their last Warhammer one. So if you want to make sure that you can catch one of those streams, the last stream for that is on Wednesday. Uh, for Nyor, again, the last stream, they're doing apparently another spoopy stream, but I do wonder if it'd be, because Nyor does such chill vibes. So I feel like even if you're someone who normally can't watch horror streams, I think Nyor's a really good option for you because they just do such chill vibes. They give voices to everyone, like, it kind of chills you out a little bit and makes all the spooks less spooky, which in like a good way, in a good way, like playing games with friends. I would suggest you know, if you enjoy that kind of vibe, if the whole playing games with your mates. Then we have actually not Ashley, who is doing their, I believe their only stream for Booptober is like a really, really big one. So they're doing a very big special stream for us on Wednesday the 18th, where they're doing polymer, maybe some dolls, some giveaways, stuff like that. And that's all happening in one stream. So they're not streaming the rest, but they will be streaming here. And so if you haven't checked them out before, you want to make sure that you're catching that stream because that is one big special stream and they're doing it on the last day of the raid train. We have a lot of people doing their special streams on the first day, but it was really nice of Ashley to put their special stream on the last day of the raid train so that people have something to look forward to at the end as well so yes if you haven't oh my god hooves hooves oh my god jesus christ i can't scream at you because it's like 1am but thank you so much anonymous for the 100 dollar donation i swear to god i you're gonna make me hit my tongue before i ever even open donations I swear to god thank you so so much gee wait does that mean we've oh my god we're gonna be recording 40 lines of fish whispers later oh my god this is we at this point we might as well have it as like a, a, a choir <laughs> Instead of going the normal route, we're gonna have it as a choir. Booptober is live! Yes! Let me just shout out Booptober as well then. Because uh, uh, before I finish this out, thank you, Daniels, for letting me know. Booptober, we'll be having reruns over the entire stream. Also, occasionally there might be people popping in and out of there. But if you if you are looking for Booptober content and you miss anyone else for any reason, and um, there'll be Booptober there. And if you are someone who is streaming for Booptober and you want to uh, you want, you're, you're worried because you have to end early, you can raid into Booptober and we'll make sure that we get to your raid target that way. Yes, we have that. Mine looks similarly low, hurry, twitching by the end. I literally haven't even opened donations. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Thank you so, so much, Anonymous. That's very hecking kind of you. I really appreciate it. And then I'll be doing all of my giveaways on this stream here. This is my giveaway stream, which is on the last day of, uh, of the raid train, because I am only fundraising during the raid train, despite what all of this would say. I am only fundraising during the raid train, so I will actually manually close my 
my fundraiser at the end, specifically so that we can direct funds to people that haven't actually hit their targets yet. So after the raid train, you will no longer be able to donate, you'll no longer be able to claim rewards for my channel, because I want to make sure that we focus on celebrating the streamers that haven't hit any of their goals yet. Because all of the streamers are so amazing who are taking part in Boobtober, that, uh, that they all deserve to be to be doing well with fundraising and stuff like that as well so after this week instead of having a link to me i will link to a different streamer each day so when you click exclamation mark donate it will go somewhere else and my donations personally will be closed so you physically actually won't be able to donate to me anymore uh, i hope that all makes sense uh, i am the person who is the raid train coordinator so i do think it makes sense that i am only fundraising really during the raid train and then staying around to help other people for the rest of the month I think that kind of ends the month out. That's basically us done. I mean, it's, we have so many amazing streamers taking part. We've been so lucky with all of the people that have signed up and that is doing, are doing really, really amazing things. And I am very happy to announce that we can now do our first raid ever of a Booktober raid train. Are you all ready to join me in the first raid of the raid train where we will be raiding into Elizabeth Blue who is doing their first ever proper stream. Is everyone ready? They are a not an affiliate yet, so if you're not following them, go send them a follow. Every follow counts when you're aiming for affiliate. If you can lurk their stream, I'm sure they'd really, really appreciate it. Uh, and if you need some raid calls to go send some hype, there you go. Uh, just as a heads up, because it is their first stream, I don't know. I know Unpredictable has helped them out a lot. Also, CJ, good morning. I hope you're doing well. We are about to raid out because it is 1 a.m., but I hope you're doing well um because it is their first stream there is a chance oh wait did i not set the raid up correctly oh i shouted them out instead my bad my bad uh, because it is their first ever stream there might be some issues with like nightbot collecting spam and stuff like that so if if any of you get timed out when you go in don't worry about it too much it's likely heard that for the first oh no is it all gonna be fine oh there you go then I fixed Nightbot, thank you, I was gonna say, I was like, I'll give them a warning because like sometimes when you do your first stream, Nightbot's funky, but hey, listen, we shouldn't be running into any problems. So if you would like to grab a raid call, I would love to send you all in to the first raid of the stream. Thank you everybody who did join me so late. I know it is very out of most people's time zone who follow me and I will be live again in seven hours. So I'm gonna go get a nice seven hours sleep and then I'll be back live and we'll be doing some recording for Fish Whispers. Hell yeah, probably not going to manage to get all 40 lines, but we'll do our best. And I'll see you all soon. I hope everyone's got a raid call. I hope everyone's gone and followed her. I hope everyone's gone and followed all the people we were shouting out today. Because they're all amazing streamers and they all deserve to be followed. And then we're going to go do some architecture. Take care, everyone. And good luck for everyone who's streaming tonight. I hope that it goes well. There we go. Raid everyone in.